Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing today? So this is new. Never done a YouTube stream before. How's everybody doing tonight? Also, how are audio levels? This is my first time doing this. <laughs> Hello, Count Olaf. Yes. Yes, I am secretly Jim Carrey. Yes. <laughs> oh, you actually sound different on here. Really? How so? I'm very curious. Doing a few little things here in the background before we begin. I thought that I had the Unity Project open already. I did not. I am dumb. Levels are good. Sounding good. All right. Like actually a little bit deeper. That might be um, the fact that I updated some of my settings recently. I may have added a little more bass to the equalizer. All right. I think we are set to jump over here. By the way, guys, welcome on in. Hello. Uh, for anyone who's watching this after the fact, this is going to be a real-time tutorial on uh, how to convert a VR chat avatar into chill out VR, uh, into a chill out VR avatar. Um, anyone who's watched my previous tutorials, this is going to be much less structured than last time. This is more of a free for all: ask questions, find out things, share information, whatever you guys want to do. We will get through this together. I made an account about a year before CVR was ever on Steam, but unfortunately my old PC exploded. Got a new one, just need more storage. Can we get back on CVR and jam? Audio is good though. Dude, awesome. I am sorry to hear about your computer, but we are looking forward to getting you back into Chill VR. But hello everyone. My name is Duff Wolf. Uh, I am usually a wolf, a, 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 a wolf dog of some persuasion, uh, but <laughs> I've been using my kangaroo so much for these chill out VR avatar tutorials that I've just, I decided to make a VTuber avatar for him too. So here we are. Hello, my name is Duff and this here, as you'll notice, is Solus the Wolf sitting in this Unity project here. Roo, yes, Roo. <laughs> All right, we actually do have Solus here in uh, a voice call. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, undeafen from discord here and I will I will we will get him included hello oh god is it broadcasting my entire hold on a second <laughs> hello uh, hello uh one sec here chat mic thank you and hello. then chat there we go um <laughs> apologies if you were hearing game shops there in the background hello oh I I changed my audio device and then you disappeared oh, because I changed oh. audio devices <laughs> and I Did didn't have burn. that slider up. Oh no, man. No, oh my God. No, you know what? No, like we said, this is, the, it's not a stream if there isn't technical. Difficulty. Oh my God. So you want to know why I couldn't figure out how to set up my uh, broadcast mix? You want, you want to know why? Because yeah. I forgot that Windows classifies the GoXLR broadcast output as a microphone and not a desktop audio source. Uh, so here I am trying to figure out an audio output source. I'm like, where's the broadcast mix? It's not there for a good reason. <laughs> uh, to anyone who has watched my other two videos on my YouTube channel, uh, I, I, I kind of said this already, but this is going to be much, much less refined, much less refined and well-structured than that. This is going to be much more chaotic. Because I don't have a script ask, this time. Right, and you can but the, the cool thing is is as we're going along, you can ask questions. I can, you can answer them live. Yes, we can. Like 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 are you single? Uh will you be my will you be my sugar daddy? Uh <laughs> I'm see what you know, I'm what you call us I'm what you call a sugar daddy with no money. A splendid daddy. Oh, no. <laughs> Knock off. You just diet sugar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you at least help me get my avatar into CVR. I'm glad, Fido. I'm really glad. Oh, that's uh, awesome. Yeah. See, this is what we're going to do today. Yeah. So, uh, a daddy on equal footing. A. <laughs> there we go. Tazel with the puns. Tazel's a master of puns like that. I don't have the chat oh, no. uh, on screen for this stream, but it is going to be. I do have the chat replay enabled for this video. So uh, if anyone's watching this after the fact, you can still see 
Oh. Any questions or jokes that get put into chat? What's up, Jackson? How you doing? I'm going to make my chat a little bit smaller, I think. And I am going to uh, share my oh. screen to oh, your sorry. computer so that you can share oh. it to your stream. Awesome. Um, <laughs> Updated the mic equalizer to have more bass so you're sweet and low. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Drunk and left turning. The 60s. 60s music. What? 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 Uh, pl I I hope I hope Jackson just means video games. I think I I think yeah, I think no driving. I think Jackson just means video games. Please don't drink, drink and drive, kids. Very bad. Almost ruined my life doing it. Oh. Absolutely. I had to learn the hard way. Oh, I'm glad you're still with us. Yep. Yes, I oh, mean no. video games. Okay, he he does mean video games. Good. <laughs> Drunk and driving in video games. Speaking of drinking, oh. I need a monster, actually. Oh, <laughs> I, I just took... Literally... I just took an energy shot myself. I'm literally, like, right before tired. I went live, my roommates made dinner. So I'm full of oh. food, which is going to put me into a, uh, a food coma if I'm not careful. Right. Oh, so, no. luckily, oh, I have a four-pack of monsters right here that have been sitting in my mini fridge, ah. chilling all afternoon. So, like I said, guys, this is not going to be structured be well or effectively. Forward. This ain't no yeah. Markiplier stream, all right? We ain't, we ain't, we Markiplier ain't. Markiplier doesn't structure shit in his streams either. Nobody, <laughs> streaming, streaming is the opposite of doing videos where you don't structure. You just, you Chaos just reigns. Move. You put the cameras, the, 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 the thing on the screen and you start talking. I got me, yeah. uh, I got me, uh. How how did how did uh, how did Russian Badger put it in the in the Halo video when he was talking about gamer subs? Uh, oh, I'm a ten I'm like a ten prestige veteran of boomer ass white monster alone. Mm. <laughs> That's funny. Gotta That's get you some yo I'm Night Fox. <laughs> Gwen just said gotta get you some guacamole gamer fart nine thousand. You know I'm gonna be honest. And I'm probably uh, gonna get shade for this. I really hope none I, of Russian Badgers, like hardcore fans, uh, find this video. I um, can pop up your YouTube chat. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna be honest. When, uh, so I tried. I tried the uh, the like sampler pack of like three little one serving packets of of gamer subs. And oh, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Of the three, I liked Guacamole Gamer Fart Nine Thousand the least. Like it was still good. Uh, Don't get me wrong. It, it was good. So. Oh, that sounds awful. Why? No, no, no. So it's actually like a strawberry lime flavor, but Russian Badger is oh. a total shit poster, so we named it Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right. I got it's actually not bad. Pull it out. My stream is now watching your screen. On the Hello, chat. Hello, Solus's Twitch chat. Um, but mm. yeah, so I, I tried. They had the uh, uh, the mango, the pineapple and the strawberry lime, which is the guacamole gamer fart. So I personally found the guacamole gamer fart to be just a little bit more cloying, like a little bit more sweet, overly sweet versus uh, the other two. Oh, okay. And the other two were like really light and really refreshing. Like I really I liked it. Like, I think that was the big thing when I, I tried like my first bang, it was like the rainbow unicorn one. Oh God. And I, originally I was like, oh wait, this is kind of good. And then, cause it's like, it doesn't have like a bad aftertaste at all when it comes to like uh, a heavily caffeinated drink and stuff. I was like, oh, this isn't bad. And mm -hmm. then I got like a quarter through the can. I'm like, this is way too much sweetness. <laughs> well, I do want to get off these monsters as well, because these I believe these use maltodextrin. Oh, I mean, anything energy drink base is pretty much toxic for you. Well, no. Oh, no, it has sucralose, which oh. I guess I mean. I don't I don't know the science behind it, but I I do trust it <laughs> in what in what Russian Badger said with like the difference between G subs and G fuel. Like I would much rather run gamer subs. Mm. Mm hmm. Suddenly an awful attire where you have to a smelling of weed. You plebs, I like cherry lime before it was cool. Oh my god. Sucralose is splenda. Okay. I don't know what gamer subs uses. And maybe if they use the same thing, if they also use sucralose, then I guess it doesn't matter. Um, close. Uh, I can't do energy drinks. No joke. About forty-five seconds after first sip, it feels like battery acid in my veins. Fuck that. Yeah. No. If it, if you're sensitive to it, 
then uh, that's there's no shame in that. Like, don't worry about it. Not at all. Thank you, Ben. Or Casey. Thank you. All right. Casey's going to go check what sweetener they use in uh, game recepts. <laughs> all right. But while he's off doing that, let's get down yes. to business. So we have here the Julia Winterpaw Classic Canine. Uh, the first edition of the masculine canine here all textured up we me and Solus set this up yesterday to be all textured up to have the uh the uh the proper textures everything's also i even did his eyes yeah so my uh, everybody who's seen me in vr chat has only seen me with actually i even think is the right blue eye changed or not yes uh the, i did make I it a little bit deeper i was gonna say it looks darker to me which is uh correct to my persona mm -hmm. when i had my friend uh uh re re recolor or retexture uh the avatar they um they said they weren't quite sure how to do it without it being a real pain in the ass and i was like i wanted the i wanted the upload like kind of like that day so i was just like i don't care too dark yeah. eyes, whatever but uh, that's actually really cool that it's accurate. Yeah, um, I just pulled open the project in Substance Painter and, and messed around with it to get the colors right. That's all I had to do. Now we got now we got Solus with the proper eye colors. So yeah, it's so funny that this is happening on the four the four year birthday of Solus. Aw, well this so yeah this crazy. is your birthday gift. I give you the gift of proper eye color. <laughs> proper eye color. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. Hello, it's Slushy. It's been awesome. Uh, just... I can't type out all this, but here's the page with the ingredients. Okay. Let's, oh, goodness. Let's take a little, I'll let's take a little look. See. Oh, God. It's so, it's so bright. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sweeteners. Uh, Erythritol. Erythritol. Erythritol, a non-GMO sugar alcohol with no impact on your blood sugar, no insulin response, and a zero on the GI index. That's pretty damn good. Is I mean, obviously, you'd want to you'd want to still like Google what this stuff is and check it out. <laughs> Used commonly in euthanasia. What? 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 <laughs> get, get, get 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 it because you like you, you like look it up and it's like yeah it's used commonly in euthanasia and you're like <gasps> i shouldn't drink this erythritol okay fun fact you can't spell potassium without possum all right we're already getting distracted <laughs> okay so um there's actually an interesting development uh in the time between me uploading my last tutorial video yeah. and announcing that I was going to be doing this stream and this stream, Julia Winterpaw went and actually made an official chill out VR release of the avatars, of all the avatars. Well, I think she's working on them all, but I think I think the the canine well, has already been done. The canine is there. Yeah. The canine is within chill out VR now. Yes. Or at least accessible through the gum road or whatever. Yeah, so so if you have this model, um, the uh, the Gumroad will be updated with a Chill Out VR package, uh, yeah. which which kind of negates the entire purpose of this event here. But uh, we're gonna do it anyway, just because this way we can customize it to however Solus wants it. I was gonna say it's, it only negates it if you don't have any customizations to the avatar. Right. Um, which I have the most basic, which is just a recoloring. I right and that and, and like if you're not if you're like not changing that. anything in the scripting and stuff yeah you could just slap your textures on and go um you just slap it on there and go yeah but um but that is actually something that that kind of brings up a good point if your avatar has not yet been released to chill out vr do not be afraid to reach out to your maker whoever made the avatar whether it be a custom avatar or a base avatar bought on gumroad or booth don't be afraid to ask out and just or reach out and just ask, um, are, is there going to be a chill out VR release? Is there going to be a chill out VR version? And if not, then you can make the edits yourself. Or if, if you are willing to wait for it, you know, they may already be working on it. I was going to ask, so what's the specific file that we're going to need to do the upload? Uh, what do you mean? 
I assume you're uploading some sort of project file, right? Like so, the entire upload like... process is held within Unity here. Oh, oh, right, right, right. You told me about that. The 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 the, the key, the master right. key, the creation right. kit key. So we're gonna get to that in a little bit here. Uh, I actually haven't even this. imported Damn. the Chill Up VR CCK because there has been an update to the CCK. In fact, I'm gonna pull up the. Uh, let's see here. All right, so we should explain exactly what you're doing. Right, so, uh, well, right now I'm going to the documentation uh, for so, Alpha Blend Interactive, and I'm gonna put this page in the chat, uh, which yes. means I need to pull up this page here. There we go. So, and I'm gonna drop this to you, Solus, uh, in Discord, so you can drop it to your chat if you want. Uh, so, Chill Out VR just updated their content creation kit, or CCK, to 3.4. 3.4 is the new baseline. If you are using 3.3 or anything prior, it will not upload. It will not yeah. work. So you do need to make sure that you have at least 3.4. Now, anyone who's watching this in the far future, this may have changed. They may have moved to a new version that is the new baseline. But as of the time of this recording of this stream, you will need CCK V3.4. And the link You're... is right here. And so, so I would, I would speculate any further uh, upgrades and releases are going to be in the same page. Correct. Um, yes. So this page really, is where you can download the latest version of the CCK. Another really good thing you can also do to help yourself out uh, is to just go and be a part of the uh, ABI Discord. Yes, that is very they true. Will let you know exactly what you need to do, and they make announcements all the time yes so discord.gg slash abi leads you directly to their discord and um okay. you can join in get notifications of any announcements or updates you can join the experimental build which by the way right now the only way to play the game is on Hold the on experimental right branch currently yes. unless they've released an update in the last couple hours which there uh, is there is an announcement oh, yeah. actually they yeah, released it two minutes ago all right, yeah. Which one? <laughs> uh, two minutes ago, there was a release, an update to the experimental news. So I'm just going to pull this up right here. Uh, so this oh. was literally posted two minutes ago. Hello, everyone. We've released a new build to our experimental branch. This branch contains multiple fixes regarding UI related crashes and problems with huge memory usage when using bundle verifier. We consider this build a release candidate for stable. So we need as much feedback as possible. With this release, we have closed all open instances, so you would need to create your own, which is now possible again. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. Okay, so no joke. Over the past like 24 hours. to 36 hours, <laughs> it's been almost impossible to generate a new instance. So which, like- which, which channel is that in Discord? Uh, in the, underneath the experimental section. Oh, uh, that. you're Experimental not news. The regular news. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with this release, we have closed all open instances, so we need to create your own, which is now possible again. Thank you. Thank you, ABI developers. Thank you so much. This could not have yeah. come at a better time. <laughs> uh, Perfect. Cur currently, you will only be able to create US instances. So that is a it, that is a cool thing you can do, is you can actually choose whether you want a, uh, a European instance, a US instance, or a, I think, Asia instance? I think of the three, the three regions. Yeah. Um, this is actually yeah. really cool for later, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm actually going to open up Steam real quick and make sure that's already downloaded. <laughs> I I did jump in the chill out earlier, so I'm assuming it's updated. Uh, well, so. considering they just just released it. Uh, let's see here. Betas. Okay, so it is the public. I'm going to switch off. I'm going to switch off the gonna uh, force update. It, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to switch off the experimental then back onto it. So guys, make sure, oh, um, there is, if you want to get into the experimental branch, join the Discord. There are instructions uh, in the experimental section, I believe in the FAQ channel, of how to join beta access. There's a code that you will paste right in here to unlock yep. the experimental branch. So uh, I actually offered for my chat later on towards the, uh, once we're all done uploading and, and doing kind of like the feature showcase, I'm going to probably create an instance and let whoever wants to come and hang out, come hang out. Yeah, but we could absolutely do that. On top of that thing, uh, so you need to get into the Discord to grab the code for the, the beta. 
That way you can change it from public build to the experimental build because the uh, the other build is not currently up. But I believe in the announcement that with this update, they're going to be trying to get the uh, yes, the it is a thing, it is a it is what they call a stable soon. candidate. It is a stable yes. candidate. So it is it is potentially going to be pushed to the stable build, which will be available to everyone without needing to line up that stuff. Yep, 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 yep. Anyway, um, so I think we are all set here. I need to what Ashley? Oh baby, cat. my cat. My <laughs> I have a cat. She's my chat. she's she's my little gray fluff ball. My chat knows this very well. That this, this <laughs> I have cat interruptions. I call them cat missions. Yep. She is my kitty is very very attention hungry. I'm also kind <laughs> of I'm also kind of procrastinating just a little bit to give more people a chance to come in if they want to watch this live. Very fair. Very fair. So one of the big things is chat. Uh, to kind of just say, say this. Uh, so chill out VR. Uh, I believe it's only on Steam right now. I believe, but I believe so. They're trying to work on like a quest alternative and I, stuff like that. I can't say for sure if they're working on an actual quest release. That is something you'd have to look in the Discord or the subreddit or uh, in their forums. True. Um, I, I would say that uh, I don't see them not doing it. It's just when is it going to happen kind of right. thing. Which I should also point uh, out. Uh, when you create your account in... Which I was just going to yeah. hit up. Yep. When you create your account on the uh, on the ABI hub, so your... your um, your main account for playing the game, you are also uh, given simultaneously a forums account. And this forums account will allow you to uh, post into their personal forums. This is anything from feature suggestions to events, to bug reports, to uh, asking questions or giving tutorials on how to, uh, how to do different things. So there's worlds, avatars, all kinds of stuff. Um, the experimental section is for experimental bug reports. Uh, pretty sure they said they aren't currently just working on quest oh, compatibility. Okay. Um, Fair Audio enough. Phoenix, that 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 may have I can't confirm or deny anything because I I don't keep up with the developers as much as some people I know do. Um, but I think with the with the mass advent of people coming over from VR chat, um, they may be taking another look into it. Currently, it is. Solus, you did manage to get in, right? What do you mean? Uh, with your quest? Yes, I can explain all that too. But yeah. yes, my quest to using uh, virtual desktop. It, uh, I did not actually use virtual desktop. Mm. I was able to do it through the Air Link. Okay. Cool. Which again, using the Air Link can be kind of laggy depending how good your router is and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Um, if you have a quest too and you do have the physical cable, same thing. You have to download Steam VR. Yeah, it has, VR, you, it has to be through so, the Steam. It has to be through the Steam launcher, but it is like Quest yeah. hardware is compatible. Yep, and when you launch it, it's gonna get mad at you because you have to have the Oculus. Uh, so if you're using the Air Link, and this is something I had to do just like an hour ago. Yeah. Uh, basically, uh, I downloaded Steam VR because I actually forgot I didn't have it installed. Oops. Um, you then Air Link, which that there's a whole process if you don't know how to do Air Link, but there's some great tutorials out there. Uh, both written and video form if you need them. But what, it, it, once you get your air link set up uh, and you have your Oculus, uh, the Oculus program open, like the store or whatever it is. Right. When you go to launch theme VR, it's going to get mad because it's going to say this is an unknown source. Yeah. Which then forces you to go into the settings, the general tab in Oculus and then allow unknown sources to work. Mm. It's a quick little button that switches on and off. It's a little on off switch. You just click it to on. It'll say, are you sure? You know, it, it can be dangerous. You're dealing with unknown software. Oh, no, no. I know what Steam VR is. OK, so then you say yes. <laughs> and that's when your your Quest 2 will. It's essentially just a monitor at that point and your computer's running Steam VR, and it's just, it's pushing the uh, the video feed to your Quest 2. And boom, you are, you just launch Chill Out VR through the Steam VR little home world thing, you know, it's like that, like cabin. Yeah. And uh, boom, you're in, you're in Chill Out VR, just like that. I, I prefer the void, I'll be honest. 
all that all that extra fluff with the Steam VR home thing. Yeah. It's unnecessary. I I like I, I like know. my void. <laughs> um but anyway, I, I, I'll tell you right now chat uh that I'm reading like what Biopaw just said is like with the the and it's even funny enough uh pointed it out on discord that a bunch of people within the abi discord are labeling themselves as vr chat refugees <laughs> yeah uh, because of the sudden influx of new users to chill out vr i have a very i mean it just makes sense that they're way they're working really hard on stability issues versus yeah. trying to even work on quest stuff right now yeah they need to be able to allow as many people over as possible because this growth needs to be allowed if you oh yeah if you're limited to only 100 users or say even a thousand users before your servers crash that's not good yeah um yeah so right now especially after the big the the event uh the mass <laughs> exodus from vr chat um they have been 100 percent focused on stability and scalability uh with the oh. fact that you know they have so many new people 10,000 new account signups in 24 hours like that oh, is I, that is I should, nuts. I should quickly and briefly mention this for both chats. When I signed up yesterday for Chill Out VR, I used my Google Mail address, my Gmail address, my email, and it sends an uh, uh, a confirmation email uh, before you can log in either to desktop or you can't even log into the uh, the main Game. website the hub on online and you can't uh do vr as well until you uh uh confirm that email for some reason my gmail and i don't know this will do to everybody's but instead of putting it in the regular inbox folder it put it under the promotions folder yeah so it, it Not... kind of it kind of red it kind of false identified it as a uh, promotional email rather than just a regular one so I mean, I'm sure, like, as people, I'm sure as people see that and mark it as this is not promotional material, Google will learn. Google will learn and improve, hopefully. The algorithm will learn. Indeed. But basically, uh, if for some reason you're signing up and you can't find the email after five minutes, ten minutes, just check all of the random folders, especially on Gmail. Yep. Uh, you'll find it. It's somewhere. It's it's just it may have gotten flagged because I actually didn't even know that promotions tab existed until I clicked on it yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, so let's get yes. started here. Ready? Yes, I think we are set to go. So uh, what we have here right now is your typical VR chat Unity project. We have an avatar all set up and we have um, all the VRC avatar components included. Um, I should also point out, with the advent of um, Dynamic Bone, no, sorry, Fizz Bones, and the new VR chat system, you may need to see if your avatar has an older version still available, uh, perhaps like a legacy version that still had Dynamic Bones before the Fizz Bone update, because obviously Fizz Bones will not work in Chill Out VR. Uh, there is a conversion tool to move Fizz Bones back into Dynamic Bones. However, it's not perfect because the conversion between the two is not perfect. I personally recommend it's tedious, but if you absolutely have to, you're better off uh, recreating the dynamic bone scripts yourself and making sure they come out the way they're supposed to. Um, that said, this old model was never updated to fizz bones, thankfully. Yay! So that makes our life a lot easier today. All this being dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I got this all done back in 2020. Dude, so, that's totally and I never updated. Dude, you don't have to. That's another like what 40, 50 bucks to buy the updated version of the avatar. Yeah, like but it's I still a perfectly good have. model. I would have if I cared enough, be but <laughs> I was already. Nah, you have kinda... a perfectly serviceable model. You don't need to spend that money. Yeah. Anyway, so. Uh, let me see. Is this going to let me just remove it normally? It is not. Okay, so this is something, um, in order to, if you remove a script and you see it says removed, but it's not there, uh, you can unpack the prefab in order to make that possible. So now when I remove this component, it'll just gone. So that is, so the pipeline configuration and the, uh, avatar descriptor scripts are the two, or pipeline manager, which there were two for some, oh, you know what? 
I deleted the pipeline manager script. The other script noticed it was missing, so it generated a new one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I can't Hey, Tex, how you doing? This yeah. So, uh, pipeline manager script and the VRC avatar descriptor uh, are the two scripts that you need to remove. So now we have a model that has no actual uh, affiliation with uh, VRChat. So that's been removed. Uh, I am going to go ahead and just rebake that into a prefab just to make things easier on myself. Um, but. How dare you? What? What? Struggle. <laughs> Struggle. You're not doing this for real unless you're having a terrible time. <laughs> Okay. Don't say that so, now, because then now we're going to inevitably run into shit. I know, I know. Uh, so, <laughs> over here on my my right screen, I have my downloads folder open. I have the Chillout VR CCK 3.4. We're just going to import that to the project. I love this song. I just have non-copyright music playing that's very chill. Oh, so do I. I'm, uh, I'm playing Game Chops. What's that? Game Chops is a video game music remix label. Um, and as long as uh, as long as Game Chops had a hand in the production of the music, or rather, well, they commissioned the artists to make it, I imagine is what the act... Words are hard. Um, as yeah, long yeah, as yeah. Game Chops is involved, whether it's posted on the Game Chops YouTube channel or on Spotify, it will actually have Game Chops in the artist tag. Uh, and as long as it is under the Game Chops umbrella, uh, they have stated that it is safe to stream Game Chops music. Uh, I, yeah, that is, yeah. now I should, I should point out that is confirmed on Twitch. I've never actually checked to make sure it was okay <laughs> on YouTube. Game shops, please don't, please don't sue me. This well, video isn't monetized you, anyway. We'll see. I'll, I'll tell you right now. Uh, it won't be game shops that'll sue you or anything. What would happen is if anything gets flagged during the stream, you'll notice on your stream dashboard, like the YouTube dashboard, it'll literally say, Hey, your this your your stream is being paused due to our out like our bot. Is it going to say that bot. in real time? Yes. Because, Where would it say uh, that? Where top specifically? Screen, top, top, top. I don't somewhere. see it now. So because uh, I got banned from streaming on YouTube, Ooh. Uh, back in 2019, for Oof. playing uh, a really old old like 12 year old clip at the time. It's even older now. Really? Uh, it's called Old Greg from a British TV show. Okay. And within the British TV show and this little skit that I think is hilarious, they do a couple songs, but I guess the people that own that show own the song, thus it's copyrighted. Um, YouTube shut me down super quick. Like it, it paused my stream and said, hey, we think you're playing copyrighted music. We're pausing your stream to verify. And then before I had a chance to even stop what I was doing, I got an email saying I was I had a, th a three month ban from streaming on YouTube. Oh, my God. so you'll know if you screw up, Duff. OK, yeah, no, I'm not seeing anything wrong with it right now. I've been live for 45 <laughs> minutes, so we Gucci. <laughs> and that's when I moved to Twitch and I haven't looked back to YouTube streams typically. Well, Twitch has its the... own library of problems. Oh, yeah. No, they but... both do. Anyway, so yeah, back to what we're back doing. To what it. are we doing? <laughs> All right. So we now have an avatar that has had its VR chat scripts removed. Um, as stated before, we already have Dynamic Bone all set up. Dynamic Bone does work in Chill Out VR, so we don't need to change a thing with that. What we're gonna do is now that we have imported the CCK again, as of the time of this recording, version 3.4 is required. 3.4 or newer, 3.3 or older will not work anymore. It has been like blocked from upload with that. So. What we're going to do is with the avatar selected here, and we want to make sure we have this blue highlight that determines we've oh. selected the prefab, not the mesh. Uh, oh, you hit add gotcha. component, and then you can just search CVR avatar. And it's this script right here. And so now we've got a whole bunch of new goodies here. Oh, we're going to just slide this one down. So. You'll notice there's two little gizmos down here. We're going to line those up real quick. So we have voice position, which is where your voice comes out of. My face, please. And your view position, though, which is where your first... It would funny to put it into my crotch, though. So, like, you joke about that, but, like, there's actual, there's actual reasons you might not want your voice position to be set 
to your face. Um, over on VR chat, you are you don't have a choice of what bone it parents to. So right. your so uh, your voice will always come out of your head bone at whatever offset position you set it to. With chill out, you could actually let's say you make a ventriloquist dummy avatar. Oh. So you have like the the ventriloquist and the dummy in their hand, right? Right. You could set up the voice position to come out of the dummy and set the uh the like parent bone for the voice position to the right hand. Right. So you could right. literally have the voice come out of the dummy in your hand. And you could oh. also you could also set up the blend shape so that the dummy's mouth is moving and not yours. I was going to say, not, you're making me want somebody to to do a texture on the hand so that it looks like a face. <laughs> oh, so you got like little, the little drawn face. on eyes and, and mouth? Just, it, yeah, and it just makes, the, <laughs> just makes like the thumb move up down. The hand is always perpetually in that position. Then you just talk through that. That'd be so goofy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you can you can do all kinds of stuff. If you have a puppet avatar, for example, you know, something that's just like the, the, the character in your hand, you know, you're puppeteering it with your hand instead of it being part of your whole body. Same thing. You can That's have cool. your voice come out of like I've seen avatars that are like so, um, a little like Superman, like a little Superman on the hand or uh, Star Fox. So like Fox in his R wing. Yeah. Um, you can actually have the voice come out of the R wing or what or you know whatever it is. It's really cool. It's really great. So uh, using the right view. I was able to just line those right up. So we got it coming right out of his mouth. Eye position is sort of right between the eyes. And if I remember from my VR chat days, you want the ball to just be just peeking out from the bridge of the snout. Bridge of the, the nose. Um, right. So then we have our blink scripts. We need to set up our face mesh, which is body. So we're just going to take body out of the hierarchy and drag that into the face mesh there. Use blink blend shapes enabled so that we can have. Uh... Is there not a is there not a blink for blink? There it is. There we go. <laughs> blink one eye. <laughs> Only one eye. <laughs> right. Yeah, so that will. So that's your your two eyes at once blink. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> that's slightly off. <laughs> you weird... just have a lazy eye and there's like one of them's blinking. The other one's just cold and staring. Yo, know, what if you wanted to be like one of those, like a glass eyed pirate or something, you know? Yeah, no, that would work too. Legit. <laughs> uh, so we'll set up. Is that... hmm? um, so is that stuff that VR chat can do as well? Or it, like, because the voice position is unique to chill out, right? Um, yes, actually. Um, so that's with, really with, cool. with VR chat, your, uh, your actually, now that you mentioned it, yeah, with VR chat, the voice position, uh, just comes out of your head bone. Like it's just parented to your head bone. You don't actually get to, you don't even get to choose where it goes. I misspoke earlier. Uh, you don't get to choose a voice position, only your view position in chill out or in VR chat. Yeah, VR chat is specifically By the way, 360, and you sound like you're in the entire room at all times. Fair warning. I I misspeak a lot. ADHD is a hell of a drug, kids. Um, <laughs> I, the drug you take for ADHD is a hell of a drug. <laughs> if only I could get those. Thank you, American healthcare system. I'm not going to get into that right now, though. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna get my words mixed up. I will try to correct myself as quickly as possible. If I say something that doesn't sound like it makes sense, please ask me. Please, please ask me. Please correct me because I do not want to get this information wrong. But anyway, so lip sync. This is to make your mouth move when you talk, much like my avatar on screen is doing right now. Uh, oh, by the way, chat, if you want to check out Duff's stream, go here on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> um, interestingly enough, Chill Out VR actually has an auto select Visemes button. And on most avatars, that works. Just like What's that. that I pushed the button and it selected all. So the Vise Visemes is another word for blend shapes. Oh, okay. So it's, it's mm -hmm. ways, it's different. Like, I almost want to call them self contained animations that are baked into the mesh. Um, so uh, it's basically all the different ways that, that 
the person who made the avatar warped the face mesh to make different uh, vowel sounds and different like mouth sounds for for speech. Ah. So um. Also, oh. oh god. If they are labeled correctly, you can press auto select visemes down here. It's kind of covered up by my avatar. I'm gonna hide my avatar for a sec. You can click auto select visemes right here, and it will automatically populate all of these. Unless your avatar uh, is not quite set up properly and doesn't support that. Unfortunately, my kangaroo did not support that, so I had to enter oh. them manually. But it's still like it still works. I just had to enter them manually. That's all. Yeah, that's what's well, you know what it, things are going well. Everything's yeah. working. <laughs> yeah, everything's everything's good so far. Also, I so, did want to say I I do remember a rubber tex raccoon. I don't know if we've met personally, but I do believe I know you on Twitter. So yeah. Yeah, Tex is a good friend of mine. Tex is yeah. a sweet bean. Nice. He's a good boy. All right. Now, if um if I remember correctly, this was basically it for my uh my first VR chat tutorial. Just okay. setting up uh the script and the blend shapes and all that and, and then you're good to go. Um however, uh we're gonna go ahead and set you up with some customization options. So down here, right next to my avatar's head, kinda 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 where the where my nose is, um, there's this button that says enable advanced settings. And that is how we get into adding the toggles and sliders and things like that that I talked about in my previous tutorial video. Um, and uh, so we're gonna set up stuff for you, Solus. What specifically Yo. would you like? I have no clue what's even an option. That's well, the thing. Uh, let's see what include what was included with the. Let's see here: toggles, blush, bloof, hair. Okay, so it looks like there was like uh, we drag this into here and take a look. Yeah, so there's options to like hide your hair, turn on a, the facial blush, which we can do that. We can also do that with a facial jet with a hand gesture. Oh, okay. Uh, so we so if you want to have like a specific, we're gonna set up all your hand gestures by hand. So like you're gonna oh, have okay. perfectly customized to your liking uh, hand to face expression gestures. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Hi, Quipper. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Uh, let's see here. Sliders. We have. Oh, we have buff sliders. We have ear sliders. Oh, for the different ear shapes. Okay. You're pretty much gonna want to like you, Solus. You use the default ear shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, ooh, tail size slider. Interesting. I didn't know there was a t oh. Yeah, That's you can make it pretty big. Uh, oh. I'm I'm kind of blocking it here, but there's there is a little uh, there is On a little like screen, animation yeah. thing in the corner. You can preview the animation. I dragged the canine from here down into here in order to preview it. Uh, so you've got, by the really way, that is through. not anything inappropriate. I swear it's the arrow gizmo. I oh, swear it is. Okay. It's the arrow gizmo. It's not at the... YouTube. Please don't well, kill me. Yeah. Yeah, it's no, not, no, a, no, no, it's no, no, not no. that. I don't, I didn't pay for that. I didn't pay for that <laughs> version of the Sinatar. <sighs> okay. But yeah. Trust so me, you've got, I didn't pay for that. I don't own that piece. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's that not that way more. It's not that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we could actually set up a couple of sliders here for you if you wanted to control like your tail size and how much your tail curls. Oh, I yeah. would actually wouldn't mind the tail straightening out a little bit. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna actually move my I'm gonna move my kangaroo to the other side here, uh, since we're gonna be focusing more on the right side where I've got my inspector set up. So uh, we're gonna just set him there instead, and we'll get back to work. So. Uh, yeah, let's get down here. So this is how this works, right? With with VR chat, you have to like manually create the animation layers, which means you have to make the parameters, you have to build the menu, you have to do all the things by yourself. And it's a pain in the butt to learn. Chill out VR, stupid easy. All right, so you've got your override, you've got your advanced settings here. You press Ash. this little, hmm? Oh, your cat. <laughs> yep. All right. And they did cat's remissions. Yep. You're good. So you press this little button here under inputs to add an input. We're going to call oh. this one tail size. Uh, we're going to set the type to a slider. The default will be zero. 
and then we're going to use animations this will bring up two clip up or two clip slots one for minimum one for maximum also hi Cass, how you doing guys shout out to Cass ferret uh he is a youtube content creator as well as a twitch streamer uh you should absolutely check out his channel uh he just released some videos actually uh from our previous twitch stream uh when we were showing off chill out vr before and we're gonna be doing oh. that again tonight just to give more people a chance to see what's up with yeah. chill out vr solace here is an absolute oh. uh i, I don't want to say virgin but um no, I, well <laughs> technically i've entered a couple times. okay but you've not actually like looked at what's possible i haven't done anything because yeah. the whole point of today is i am completely about as fresh as you can get when it comes to chill out vr yes and you're gonna all get to experiment that or experience that as i am experiencing it as well <laughs> and hopefully more Fingers of you crossed. will start thinking that chill vr is something you want to put your effort into either desktop or vr mode honestly again, as here's the funny thing version. it doesn't take that much effort right like i'm already 90 percent done setting up your tail slider wow yeah no like so no, obviously there's take a lot there's... longer in vr chat system obviously if you're not working with a base there's going to be a little bit more effort involved in, in just creating your own animations. But once you create the animations, that's it. Dude, Cass, it was so good to see you at Megaplex 2, man. Did um did you and Daxter have a good time? What happened with your hotel room? I You don't have to answer if you're not comfortable talking about it, but like what the hell happened with you guys in your hotel room? I'm I I'm I'm definitely <clears throat> curious. Uh, uh also hi Cass. Yes. Hello from Solus the Wolf, the good bean. One of the good beans. All right. So, um, like I said, tail size, it automatically names a parameter for you. Um, oh, oh, dude, Cass, it is so, it is so much more friendly. It is so nice. Um, type is slider. So we have toggle, drop down, material color, joysticks, inputs, and input single, and input vector two, input vector three. Now, I don't know about those last three or four. Um, oh, Tex, it was the one here in Florida, Megaplex. It was just Florida. last weekend. Florida. Right here in Florida. Good old Florida, Good man. old Florida. Uh, but, Props to Megaplex dealing with that uh, gun situation. <laughs> uh, so I didn't, I didn't hear any official God. answer misinformation man i was told it was a bomb threat originally and then really come to find out some person concealed carried a gun into the the uh the con, con space. space uh which is against all rules not only by the hotel but the convention itself and yeah then the reason why that it got figured out because if it's concealed carry you should never know about it uh it, 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 it was found on a bathroom stall or not, not a stall but it was like found in a bathroom the guy left it he just left his gun so behind the back. All right, let's not let's not talk about this while we're streaming because yeah, yeah, this is yeah, this right, is gonna right. this is gonna. Um, well, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we got we got stuff to do. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 not right. devolve into like sensitive that topics. Later. That's gonna get us. That's gonna get us. Uh, that's gonna get our video like uh, uh, removed. Um. Um. Anyway, so inputs tail slider. Right. So sorry. Uh huh. I am so sorry, guys. I. ADHD. Yeah, back to the tutorial. Yes. Yep. All right. So you have a slider. You name it tail size. It will automatically generate a parameter for you. You set the type. We're choosing slider. Also, someone answered the input types just give you a box to type a number into. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm sure someone smarter than me will figure out how to use that effectively. <laughs> but uh, let's see here. So you can set your default size, which is basically just the default value that it is when it uh, when it um spins up basically when you spin up your avatar yeah. you choose use animation and then you can inset you can set your uh animations which in this case is tail zero and tail 100 as your minimum and maximum clips oh, now okay. something very interesting to note is you want to make sure aha i'm glad i checked so the important thing to note here is chill out vr does not play nice with animations that are only one keyframe and that by that i mean there is just this one little diamond here that is yeah. a singular keyframe in order to fix that all you have to do is copy move the move the slider one frame and paste and you're good like that's all you oh, got to so do as long as it has two keyframes it's it's chill as long as you have two keyframes with the same data you're good chill 
Kill out VR is not chill with one keyframe. <laughs> Apparently, no. It just it does weird things to the animator. I I, I think that's uh, more of a Unity thing than anything. I think it's so. There are cases where uh, a singular there are cases where a singular keyframe will work depending on how you set up the animator. But the way that Chill Out VR's animator is set up by default when you generate it, it doesn't work well with one keyframe animations. So okay, okay. by having two keyframe animations here it solves that problem so same thing with tail curl so we've got tail curl zero we just select all the keyframes control c move to move to the next frame control v and that's all you got to do to fix it so i'm gonna do the same thing honestly I'm gonna do the same thing here with uh with this one i just want to make sure these are yeah okay i just want to make sure these were where i didn't accident i didn't accidentally fat finger the paste and replace the first frame of this so we're good we're good we're good all right cool i got you yep so, uh, so that is uh, tail size slider done. We're gonna make another one here and call it tail curl. And oh. again, it automatically sets a parameter with the proper name. Set the type to a slider. Default is zero. Use animation tail curl zero, tail curl one hundred. And that's it. That's two sliders done, just like that. That is that is how easy it is to set up these now, sort of parameters. Do you have to go mess with those keyframes on those as well? I already did. Like oh, as I was talking about it, I did it. Wow. Yeah. I didn't even notice you. I thought you were still doing the tails, uh, the, the the tail size ones. I didn't even realize you did the curls too. Yes. Emphasis on being the same data. I found out CVR freaks out if you have two keyframes with different data. Well, that's because it's so it's playing the animation in a loop, basically. Um, with the uh with the way that it that it plays the animation in a very rapid loop it will transition between those two states very quickly and look very strange um so that's why you want to make sure it's the same do you want the buff and thin sliders like do you care about those solace uh no not really okay no worries i've always been happy with this model yeah all right uh so that is set then do you care about i don't think you even have the floof like texture do you no no nah. okay so we don't gotta worry about that tail hair body all right cool uh was there anything else let's see here were there any like clothes included with this one or is it just the um no, no? i only had basic it's just the it's just the naked boy yeah i'm not naked i'm fur i have fur <laughs> Nah, I'm fine. telling you right now, if I was you're an anthropomorphic fine. wolf, I would not wear clothes. So really, just saying. So. You see, but then you're missing out on all the all the like awesome like furry centric clothing options. It, like, am I naked if I don't wear clothes? If that's just my natural. I mean, if you're state? living in a modern society, yeah. I mean, Zootopia confirmed that in their original trailer. Their societies. They do not go to work nude. Almost. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> What was it? It's like the house pets when they don't wear a collar. Oh god. They're like, oh my god, my collar's off. I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed though. You just removed the collar. I know. But um let's <laughs> oh, let's let's Sorry. let's not dive into that one, Tex. Yeah. Let's let's keep keep, let's keep it a little save these kind of conversations when we're hanging out and chill out. Yeah. Or on Twitch. <laughs> yes. Internet friend. Oh my god, internet friend just used my favorite word ergonomic <laughs> so there is an act it's an actual term in the fandom uh fergonomics it is clothing and like architectural design of like objects and stuff that is designed to cater to furry anatomy basically tails digi legs uh different body types and things like that it's so cool okay. things like a hat that has holes in the top for the ears to poke through. Oh, dude, Cast Ferret, I fucking love Fergonomics. Like, it is my favorite part of the furry fandom in any sort of, like, world building. Uh, anything, like, for example, my kangaroo, this avatar that I'm wearing, has um, sneakers that are designed for kangaroo feet. And they are so cool. I love it. <laughs> I'll show them off when we get into chill out. Um, yeah. Anyway, oh, we got to set up uh, your facial expressions so oh, yeah there's one of two ways to do this um oh right first thing i gotta do long t-shirts for us tube folk yes yes absolutely so Cass is a ferret 
Uh, he has an abnormally long torso as a ferret, which means he would need a shirt that is tailored to go far enough down to his waist. Also good news from inside CVR, instant creations and experience. Yes. Thank you, internet friend. Thank you for that. We, we discussed it because I actually saw, I actually saw the, uh, the notification for it as soon as that monster is working. Yeah, you're, you're popping. Like, <laughs> like I'm popping off right now. You're that monster is, is, is in my system and functioning. All right. Um, I guess normal ones, if you want a crop top, I mean, it's a cute look Cass. You'd look, you'd look adorable in a crop top. Not going to lie. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, we actually discussed the uh, the announcement in the experimental news channel, Internet Friend. Yes. Uh, we discussed that earlier, honestly, like minutes after it dropped. Like I happened yeah, to check we literally two minutes after. And it's like yeah, yeah. We I happened to check like two minutes after the announcement dropped, and I was like, oh, interesting so, news. And I was what? so happy that they have added, like they have re-enabled instance creation because that was the one thing that was going to stop this from working. <laughs> that was the one Damn thing that was going to make right, this difficult. We're gonna... We're gonna absolutely test that feature out. Yes, we are. Hard tonight. <laughs> so, so. Um, <laughs> I'll stick to my unzipped hoodie. Fair, fair. Um, so once you have added all of your uh, input parameters, uh, mm -hmm. sliders, toggles, anything you want to be controlled in the advanced avatar menu, you will click mm -hmm. create animator and it will automatically generate an animator that you can that you can then click attach created override to avatar. And that's it. You're set. That is all of your uh, like control parameters set to your avatar. Um, now where things get interesting is we're going to go into this generated folder and we are going to check this out here. So this is our animator. So this is how we control things like left hand, right hand. Oh. So these are toggles of which right now there are none. Uh, tail size, this is our slider that it, it, it has generated all of this for us. It did all the work by itself. And this is just so fucking cool to me because working in the animator in Unity is a fucking nightmare if you don't know what you're doing. Dippy, Dippy's here. My index replacement is finally shipping. RMA2 electric boogaloo. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Uh, was going to be on desktop mode, but my 14 year old blue snowball mic has finally kicked the bucket. Oh, God. Uh, Internet friend, are you did you move to a new instance and have you double checked your input device? Um, because when uh, this is another interesting note, when you first log into yeah. Chill Out VR right now, I think this uh -oh. is I think this is on the roadmap to change eventually. But when you uh, when you log into v Chill Out VR, the first instance you load into isn't an actual you were in it real instance. okay so this is for everyone else now if you load in to chill out vr the first quote unquote instance you are in is not a true instance so you are not connected to the servers and you are not able to use your microphone um so you need to even if you just even if you just join an instance that is invite only and it's only you then your microphone will work um, but it seems like that is not the issue. So yeah, internet friend, definitely make sure you double check your input device. Uh, make sure you've got something that will, uh, that is, that is being read properly by the game. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. but Dippy, actually Dippy, I'm really glad you're here. Can we talk about what you, what you were talking about, um, in that reply to my tweet with the last tutorial, you mentioned that adding facial expressions to the default animations is not a good idea. And I understand that's that's probably not like the best way to do it. Um, how would I go about adding a new, do I just have to generate a new layer, call it gestures left or expressions left, expressions right, and then like duplicate this and then change the animations to the facial animations? Is that all you have to do? Uh, Gurumi, so pretty much. Cool. I mean, I figured that was it. I just wanted to ask someone who who uh, has experience. Um, so Gurumi, uh, you s they said, I hope you can go into a world without creating an instance so that I can just go and explore when service is down. So unfortunately, you do need to be connected to the servers to world hop, um, but right. you can create a private instance. And right now, as long as you're on the experimental build, uh, which you can access through their Discord, 
you can get access to the beta branch, uh, the experimental branch rather. Uh, you can get that from the Discord. You can still log in. Right now, the, the, the main build is offline. The experimental is working. Um, so, so hmm? Curry asks, are we doing the pathing for the model? And I think we're just doing pathing. Uh, I don't think that's a correct term for sure. I, I'm not, I don't believe so because pathing sounds like uh, NPC, like right, movement it sounds like pathing that. for and a I'm game. I'm trying to think that this is like, I don't think it's quite that either uh, in what they're referring to, but what, what are we doing right now? So uh, I'm going to create some new layers here. Uh, so uh, literally this, this is a layer, this is a layer. Each one of these is a layer of animations. Um, and the order that they are in basically determines their priority. Uh, this is important for things like say in a video game where you have a walk animation and say a gun holding animation, right? Right. Or like a Gears of War style third person type deal. So you'll yeah. have one animation that is the leg movement and you'll have another animation that is where where the gun is aiming and where the where the character is aiming the gun. Um, the order of the layers, I am assuming, will determine the priority of which uh, which animations control which. Uh, uh, gotcha. And your tutorial method, uh, so Dippy just says, your tutorial method works great for projects with one avatar since you were editing the default animations, but I've seen some duplicate the default animations folder for each avatar in their project. Uh, there are many ways of going about emote gestures. Well, like, so like my, my tutorial was like from the experience of you have an avatar that was originally designed for VR chat. You've customized it to yourself. It's the only one in the project and you just need to take that and make it into a VR, into a chill out VR avatar. Like, from that, from that type of thing where you're just doing the one, if it's like a one avatar per project type deal, which is what I do, it's not ideal, but I also, I also deal with um, avatar texture commissions. So I basically create a new project for each avatar that I have done a texture for and prepped for Unity. Um, layer order becomes very important when you get into additive animations. Yes, see, I knew that. I, I figured something out. <laughs> <laughs> Speculation confirmed. Yes. Um, but anyway, so uh, apparently all we have to do is make a new layer, call it left expressions. Uh, we're going to set the weight to one and then do the same thing. Call it right expressions. Set the la layer weight to one. What we're going to do is we're just going to take all of this copy and hopefully just, yeah, Paste it. All right. It seems to work. And do the same thing for the right hand. So copy, right expressions, paste. And now all it comes down to is replacing uh, each of these animations. To each their own, I say spreading knowledge is always good. Exactly, exactly. Like mine is the mine is the quick and dirty method just to get it working. Um, the default state didn't copy over. Uh, oh, you're right. The open state. Hold on. Oh no. How do I change set layer defaults? There we go. That's all I had to do. We got it. We got it. Open is the default state. There we go. Oh. It copied, it just wasn't default, uh, default. Yeah, the copy and paste was just something weird. Hey, I did it. Yay. <laughs> I wish I had a leap motion so you guys could actually see my hands when I do, because I talk with my hands. I absolutely yeah, I talk with it. my hands. So like- I would I would love to do that. Oh leap my God, I so want cool. a leap motion so bad. Okay, Oh, side tangent here. So there is someone on Chill Out VR. His name is Disco Near. He is one of uh the legendary users who has been around pretty much since the beginning. He most often goes around uh, Chill Out VR as a cheese wizard. And <laughs> he has a very special feature on his avatar. I don't know if he made this himself or if it's something someone can just drag and drop in. Yes, the cheese lord, the cheese wizard. Um, so he most often is on desktop, right? But he actually has a leap motion that he has coded to work with his avatar. 
so he can walk around in desktop mode and then raise his hand and wave and reach out and stroke your face and do anything that a person with uh <laughs> with um with like a VR setup can do. So he can yep. push buttons in in the game and stuff. It's so cool. And it freaks people out too cuz they're like, "Oh, this guy's in desktop mode and all of a sudden he's just touching their face." <laughs> and it just throws people off. It's great. Oh man. How dare so, you stroke? How dare you stroke my face? So, uh at this point all we do is we take these so this is actually something that I didn't have in my previous tutorial. So this is something new. All you have to do is take the uh animations from here and change them from the defaults which are the which are the hand gesture animations and turn them into uh why is this a blend tree and relax oh this is like a transitionary thing you may want to check for blend trees yeah i'm seeing this i'm seeing it's a blend tree can i just replace the blend tree Oh, is it just the... Oh, it is just the fist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, can I just replace... Can I just replace the blend tree entirely with the facial expression we want? Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense, Sean. Sean, Sean you are actually... Sean is a friend of mine, for anyone who doesn't know. Sean, you are actually more... Uh, you are more informed on this than I, than I anticipated. Um, not that that's a bad thing. I mean, more information, <laughs> like... No. Is always makes better. It, makes all of this better. There is a leap motion extension mod for CVR. There it is. By the way, Shot VR supports mods. Literally hired uh, Herp Derpenstein, creator of Melon Loader, to work for them. And I think that's yeah, so, so fucking cool. That, that was one of the big the, the big pluses that we were going to talk, or I, I even told Chet about, is the, the yeah. fact that vr chat said screw you mods and screw you community whereas cvr said no 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 no, we're gonna hire the mods no no okay so here's so here's what happened right when the eac update dropped herp derpenstein he he posted about this on his twitter he was served a ban from vr chat for no what? reason like literally he, he was vanilla he was not running mods when well, the update no. dropped he, he's the creator of a mod yeah, so, so VRChat decided they were going to just, uh, you know what? Fuck you. And, uh, yeah. Okay, oh, so you didn't know about this? Yeah. So when Chill Out VR's update, or sorry. Oh, see, I'm doing it. I'm mixing up names. When VRChat's yeah. update dropped, they banned uh, Herb Derpenstein just because, basically. He, he had been running vanilla for months. There were no mods in his system. And just because he was the creator of the mod loader, they banned him. Yeah. And then shortly after, he starts talking with the chill out VR devs about, I believe it was B haptics, the B haptics integration. Mm -hmm. And one thing led to another, and suddenly he was a dev. <laughs> uh, Miaskovich, there's we're gonna talk about that a little bit later once yeah. we're actually in chill out. Um. But there's there's a couple different uh, like theories that are that are floating around right now. The blend yep, tree for the fist is... would be blank. Your emote blank. I think they'll be able to do the detect thing. Okay, okay. So that's not too bad then. Yeah. So if we just go yep. into here, we're make in tutorial this... mode right now. We yes. will hit up quite a bit of these talking points when we're in chill out. Correct. So I think for a, I think for a fist. This is your left hand fist. What do you think? Uh, uh, like a snarl face? Yeah. So let's see. We'll go into the animations. So that's the weird thing. That's the weird thing with the current model in VR chat. When I close both of my fists in VR chat, it makes my character really like happy. So the running joke is that I'd, I'd go in the, you know, I'd go see friends and be like, hey, I really want to fight you. You know, <laughs> and I have. My it's so Avatar's good to see face. you. I can't so wait to, to fucking you. punch I your face. I want to punch you in the face and be so happy about it. I'm like the most nonviolent <laughs> person you'll ever meet. Uh, that's great. It's so. like, I don't know what's, why it's like this, but it is what it is. But now we're, we get to change that right here and right now. Yes, we do. We get to set these all up by hand. 
So, so this is really cool for me because now in Chill Out VR, not only do I have cr uh, uh, canonically correct eye colors, but also I'm not going to be smiling to smile. I can't, I don't have to punch people. Right? <laughs> so, um, luckily, Julia Winterpod named all of the facial expressions face blank. So they all show up in the same part of the list, which means we can just use this little like searchy thing here. Oh, so we have face, all... big smile, frown, neutral, pouty, rock, smile, face, uh, face surprised, and face tongue. I'm so uh... happy I could tear out your intestines and strangle you with them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh man, that's great. That's fantastic. All right. So look, I, <laughs> I love you, friend, but I wanna break your nose. <laughs> so we have face, big smile, uh, which. We're gonna make that your thumb. I may make these, um, what do you call it? The same for both. Um, yeah. uh, Dippy, is is there a way in Chill Out? This, this is just me asking out of curiosity for later. Is there oh. a way in Chill Out to make unique facial expressions when both hands do a gesture at the same time? Would be cool if the CCK had an emote gestures layer generator thing. Doing it by hand can be tedious for some. Agreed. And that's the cool thing. Like, if there's a coder out there who knows how to set that up, the CCK is open source, guys. Like, you can download it from GitHub. You can download the source code and make modifications. You can submit these modifications to the developers. And if they're like, yo, that's fucking great, they'll add it to the base CCK. <laughs> like, it's nice. fantastic. And then you could be a dev too, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Right now, their biggest problem for hiring more people is money. Um, right, I think course. they brought, they onboarded uh, Herp Derpenstein and a few others, probably out of desperation. Happy um, angry. Sorry, I'm reading your chat. You get angry. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, um, I forget. Oh, I think it, I think it was the new, um, the Hobkin Redux. Yes, that's what it was. So the Hobkin Redux actually has two different sets of animations, the eyes and the uh. mouth. So you can actually set up all your eye animations on one hand and all your mouth animations on the other, and then you can mix and match whatever fucking face you want. It's kind of cool. But we're going to put face big smile on the thumbs up gun. Thumbs up, smile. Let's see here. Let's see that's brown neutral so that's like your be? or did you say you're gonna do blush on another thing right so blush is its own animation ah okay do you want to just make it a toggle uh can we yeah absolutely yeah let's so do why don't we why don't we head back over here and i'll show you guys so once you've already right. created an animator and if you want to make changes to it uh, all you got to do is make your changes. So we're going to call this one blush. It is a toggle. Now, important thing to note when you're doing a toggle. If it's a toggle, there's no reason to use anything other than a Boolean. Like if it's just a... It, 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 let me rephrase that. If it is a single thing that you are toggling on and off, and it is independent of everything else, there is no reason to use anything other than a Boolean. So... Uh, with that said, always make sure that you change your generate type to a Boolean because that will take up less uh, bit data. You only have, I mean, you have 3,200 synced bits that you can use on your avatar. And uh... you'll notice I've barely scratched that with two sliders and a toggle. Uh, the sliders obviously are going to use floats that are a floating point value from zero to one. Um, but if you have, again, if you have a standalone toggle that is not affecting anything else or it isn't interacting with anything else, you can just make it a bool and it will it will use almost no data. I, I actually misspoke in my um, in my tutorial video about that, my, my recent tutorial video, the part two. I misspoke and said oh. that they don't use any sync bit data. That is incorrect technically. The first one will use 8 bits. Every boolean you use after that will not use anything extra. Eventually, oh, I will make a tutorial on how to do the emote gestures the alternative way. It would be neat if the CCK could auto-generate the gestures layer 
might be a feature request post on CVR forums. I mean, it's probably already like been requested. I could absolutely see that. I wonder how long it's going to be before a modder working with the uh, CVR melon loader comes up with a radial menu clone for CVR. <laughs> I think if you make you a talking? ninth boolean, it will take another eight bits. Oh, well, there you go. Still, that's that's not a lot of data. That's really nice. <laughs> well, I was going to ask with this concept of bits and having so many bits per uh, like avatar and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, does this make th does this way of doing things for CVR make the avatar more efficient than VR chat? I you know, I don't know for sure. It, it, it all depends on how your. Um, uh, like hexagonal rate home menu yes like exactly it. dippy um yeah that does kind of actually fit in with cvr's theme because the ui at the bottom left is also a hexagon um I like it all right sorry i got Suggest distracted it. what were you what Suggest were you just hitting the forums <laughs> well i was just uh, uh it was just the act the the question of uh uh if it's more efficient on that side uh because of right right so that. um that is going to come down to exactly how the avatar creator originally developed the avatar for vr chat because there is no automated animation generator uh for vr chat like there is here on chill out so they All have right. to they have to create the menus they have to create the parameters they have to create the layers they have to do all that stuff by hand then unity yeah uh, chill out VR just makes it easy because you just set it up and you're done. Nice. Like you tell it what you want and it makes it for you. It's so nice. You know, all these freaking VR chat model makers and stuff that worked so hard to learn all this shit. Mm -hmm. Chill out somehow, you know, starts getting to where it's like bigger and better. And they're just going to move over and be like, well, this is fucking easy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's so nice. Like I'm an idiot when it comes to Unity. And this was like, wow, it's that easy. Like I've had multiple people come and tell me like, it's really that easy? Yes, it's actually this easy. <laughs> it's really nice. Neat. All right. Uh, toggles. In. Right. Blush. Toggles is in blush. So here's the interesting thing, too. With... Um, I'm going to go ahead and make sure we have our two frames of animation, which I should also oh. check your facial expressions and make sure they have that, too. But... Uh. So here's the interesting thing with a toggle, right? So mm -hmm. you'll notice, originally, there is blush off, blush on, right? Mm -hmm. when you're setting up for chill out if you're making a toggle that goes from a quote unquote default state into the modified state which in this case is going to be your gone. blush turning on you yep. don't need a blush off animation oh because all it's, you it's have default. To, exactly all you have to do is tell chill out what is changing when you toggle it on in this case blush on also i love this song Need uh, to be blushier. This is Prologue by Curly. Under the Game Chops label. <laughs> oh man. I love these remixes. They're so good. I love Game Chops so much. Now um, I got a question. Yeah. The, uh, the the setup that you have for your music, this is just a little sidebar for streamers. Uh, does it require you to have the song post in your chat? Because I don't see that in your YouTube. So I I use a I use a, a service called Pretzel Rocks that does copyright free and has like YouTube safe features on it. But in their TOS, they want a now playing song so people and, and post so, links so that they can do that. So I don't I actually don't know, and I sh I should have done a little more research. And apologies to Game Chops if I've messed up, but um I don't remember I don't remember reading anything about that for the Game Chops label. I think um, this is only because of the free version as well, because I use the free right, version. If you right. purchase so like the so, subscription, so, I don't think I have to require that. But so, my chat um, gets flooded with these song lists. You that's know? the main reason I didn't want to use Pretzel Rocks, like because of that. Yeah, um, I, I, I love it and hate it at the same time. Game Chops uh, is free to use. I don't believe you have to do anything. I could be wrong, um, okay. in which case this video could end up being problematic, but um, I didn't think to add, and I should have, but I didn't add my now playing widget. I usually have a widget when I'm streaming on Twitch that literally lists what song is playing in the moment on the video. Oh, um, okay. I didn't think to add that, and that was on me. 
So apologies to anyone who is uh, not happy with that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> sorry, Game Chops. I love you, though. I, I I sing your music. I sing your praises to the high heavens because your music is amazing. Like, this is oh, a this mean? is a remix of Sweden from Minecraft. Like, this is so good. This is so good. All right, all right. But let's get back Where to it. Where are you? So uh, we have now added the blush on animation. So I'm going to hit create animator again, and it is going to warn me, hey, you've already made an animator. And in this case, because we are updating the one we're working on, that's totally fine. This is more like if you are making multiple variations of an avatar in a single package, then this is like, hey, you might be overwriting something. Be careful, um, um, which in our case, it doesn't matter because we're making one avatar. But if someone was, say, making a bunch of different variants of an avatar to go on one project to go out to Gumroad or something because you're selling an avatar base, it's a good thing to have. It's a really good thing to have. It will override your gesture layers. Oh, will it? Um, well, we'll find out. I guess so. That it did. <laughs> uh, thank you for letting me know that, Dippy. Now we know. Uh, is there a fix slash workaround for when you click the create animator button and it erases everything you've set in the override controller? Uh, are you talking? Are you talking specifically uh, these overrides? Uh, the good news, Dippy, is we did like one thing in the left hand expressions thing, so it's not that big a deal that we lost it. It's gonna take like two Just seconds to really set it back up. Really glad we interrupted. To do the blush now instead of yeah. doing all the After, gestures right? and then like doing oh my it god and realizing oh we overrode everything shit <laughs> in which you would just speed run it at that point right but. um so i i personally don't know of any way to uh to ignore that because it is generating a new one it is regenerating uh the 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 script each time um yeah that would be something up for perhaps a um a feature suggestion actually if you guys want to see uh i actually put a feature request in uh something went wrong please reload and try again oh yeah. we're using cloudflare because cloudflare is good because ddosing is bad yeah. uh and you see dippy's actually got a few in here dippy's got yeah. like three suggestions on the front page dippy is a busy boy I have one in here somewhere. That's right. I, this is like the, the the really cool thing about CVR is like people, we, we, the community wants to see this succeed. Here we go. Yeah, no, the community wants it to succeed and the developers want to actually like support the community. Passion projects, baby, they yeah, always become the best. It's so much better than a bunch of people who are under the whims and control of a bunch of investors. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, we'll get anyway, into that later. Yeah. yeah, so this is actually something that I posted not long ago, uh, and this is something that I came across while I was working in the CCK. Uh, so I wrote it out as such. Problem. Within the CCK, placing an override animation clip in a dot .override controller object completely replaces the original animation clip. For some clips, emotes and toggle states, for example, this is perfectly fine. However, for others, such as the hand gesture clips, a creator may want to have both the original hand gesture as well as an added facial expression play at the same time for users without finger tracking controllers. So this is before I realized I could copy and paste facial expressions into the default animations, as yep. well as just create new animation layers that, that are controlled by the same parameters. So this is a little bit less relevant now, but for those who don't know that stuff, that is still this is still a fairly decent idea. So my solution was, on a clip-by-clip -clip basis, add an optional additive toggle, allowing the animation clips to play simultaneously, rather than one replace the other. This will make it super simple and convenient for avatar makers to combine the original hand gesture animations with pre-existing facial expression animation clips. This will be particularly useful for avatar bases that were originally designed for that other VR social platform. And I even created a screenshot in Photoshop to show the difference. So before, you have just the original, and then the override. So if you were to place an override here, so like for example, gesture ears backward, now left hand fist does not play because I put an override there. Uh, right, Dippy? Uh, so the idea is 
there is an additive channel or, or column so that let's say left hand fist plus gesture ears backward you put you select the additive check mark and i literally oh my god i'm i'm so extra i literally like screenshotted a checkbox in unity in order to put it here in photoshop my photoshop is. job <laughs> the only thing the only thing i couldn't recreate was the specific font and that's why this additive is super crisp compared to the other stuff <laughs> but so if you check the box it makes it so the default hand left fist and gesture ears backwards would play at the same time right so by clicking additive it's not uh, uh it's not going to be an override at that point yeah right and so sean kind of points out like why it's not a problem for some uh so because sean has index controllers you can just use the individual finger tracking mode and your your hands will just do whatever your actual hands are doing and when um the cvr software detects that you're doing say you know handgun or rock on yeah. or thumbs up or pointing or you know whatever the case may be when it detects those it will just play the overridden animation right so you don't have to worry about that but for people who don't have index controllers so anyone on a vive anyone on qu any kind of oculus gear uh this would be useful or if someone is creating it as a base like for gumroad and they don't know what people are going to use you know, this would be nice as an option to be able to combine the two animations playing at once rather than one override the other. So that was that was something that I came up with in the moment. Uh, I did not mean Excellent to close track. that. I did not mean to close that. Control shift T to the rescue. Um, but yeah, so I typed out uh, here's a screenshot to show what my suggestion would look like in action. Seeing as there's a modding community for CVR that's cropped up literally overnight, maybe someone from that group might take up the mantle and add this to the CCK. Because I know the developers have a lot on their plate right now. So I definitely just yeah. threw that in there. It's like, hey, modders, if, you, if this sounds like a good idea and you, you might know how to do it, you know, the CCK is open source. Have fun, you know. And I think that's so Ooh. cool that people are free to modify the CCK as they need to uh, in order to make this what they want it to be you know they can make it do right. what they want it to do and that's so cool to me you know versus vr chat where if you modify even one line of code get banned idiot banned if we find you we will beat you so left expressions copy paste right expressions set to wait till one Yep, and then we just left hands. Copy Steel. these. I don't even know if I need to copy the other ones. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I do need to copy the other ones. All right, cool. So we'll just copy all of it. I won't. I'm gonna stop that. Anyway, and then we then hit open. The set default state. Yep. I have not forgotten. I'm just showing that I've learned. Yes. This is a learning Will experience for everyone. This? Probably not. Because <laughs> I'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Duff. I know it was just Solace's birthday, <laughs> but my real birthday's coming. <laughs> just keep making, <laughs> making birthday presents. You know, Duff, you've missed out on 30 Christmas presents. <laughs> yeah, where's where are my Christmas gifts from the last 30 years of my life? I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Do you call me daddy? <laughs> exactly. Kids don't. I just. Oh god. I. Mm, oh, I do I not like the D word. Time. I do not no, like the don't. D word. Got no. I, okay. I personally don't like being called a daddy because all that right. makes me feel old, and I, I want oh, to avoid that up. at all pro at all costs. <laughs> I know. I know. I. I, I just. It, you know, the first time I dealt with that on Twitch stream was interesting. You don't know how to feel about something until it actually happens. And then you're right. just like, what the hell? So we're going to set that to none. So fists, we're going to open the blend tree. We're going to set this to face angry. And then the other two, you know what? We're going to set the other two because there is a face neutral animation. So we will set that to face neutral. So that way, the more you clench your fist, the more angry you get. Good. Oh, that's actually really smart. I am. Mm. I'm a smart boy tonight. 
Okay. That's... Does that mean the, uh... Is, is there a way to do that to the tongue out where the more I, 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 I That's not a bad I idea. Just... Actually, well, let me, let I me, guess, tell you I don't what. know if you could do that. Cause well, if we do it on the option, left, right? so if we have one fist set to angry and the other fist set to the blep, you should be able to just like blep using lightly or blep hard. Yeah. Depending on how hard you quote unquote grip the controller. <laughs> so we could actually make that happen. So let's let's uh, take a look here. So canine. Let's, let's screw around with it. Why not? Uh, animations, expressions, face, tongue. So that is literally just a blepping is a blep. very important to me. Oh yes, blepping is very important to almost all furries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we just go left hand fist, and we oop nope. We go to the blend <laughs> we, tree, oop. and we that's set always the best. face neutral for the zero and two rates and then face tongue for like the halfway point. So yeah, so you will blend between blepping and not blepping now. So yeah, that's that's it. You can now cool. blep with con with with uh, manual control with your left fist. So my uh, left fist is that my right fist will be angry. Yes. Uh, so let's see, thumbs up. So let's go back to the Let's see here. Let's see. Canine animations. One of my buddies, all yours, working on a model in Blender right now. What's that? One of my uh, chatters is is working on a model in Blender right now. Oh, nice. Uh, Those things are. It gets tough. Oh, there's a lot you have to know. Uh, so face neutral is an empty animation. Yes, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure face neutral. Tell you what. Let's take a look at the animation. Face neutral. So yeah, it's just, basically just, just be this. Yeah, it's just the face at rest, basically. Slightly, slightly happy looking. Just, just Neutral, in a general but... good mood. Yeah. Yeah. Been in a good mood the last couple of days. Uh, actually, interesting. So it's actually using the VRC, or, or the V underscore sil, whatever S I L is supposed to mean. I have no idea, because syllable is spelled S Y L. That's the, that's the closest thing I can think of. I guess silent. Oh, that must be it. Silence. So that's the uh -huh. blend shape that plays when you are silent. Interesting. Oh, that would make sense because if my you need mouse a blend closed, shape, be silent. You need a blend shape for when you are not speaking as well. Yeah. That mm, big brain moment. Actually, let's go ahead and make sure anger two. I think all the facial expression ones are two frames, which is perfect for our uses. It means you don't have to go manually add the frames exactly. or feel. Exactly. So it's thumbs up. Even easier, chat. So th right hand thumbs up is going to be a uh, big smile. Let's see, right hand gun. Let's see. Do you what does rock look like? Uh, I think he kind of Oh, that's that's like a that's like the inquisitive like eyebrow quirked up kind of face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the rock giving you a kind of a Oh. What face? rock as in the rock the rock dwayne the rock johnson doing the dwayne. eyebrow thing okay okay <laughs> uh would you like that on any particular hand gesture uh, uh that one's less important so rock on yeah okay i don't typically do the the rock on gesture yeah uh, what is uh, so more about doing like finger pointing and then finger guns and then yeah uh, fists obviously. I do kind of wish that you could uh, set the camera to a certain spot on this little preview thing and lock it in place, um, which there may be a way to do that and I just don't know. Does it say in before you like find it? <laughs> You're just like oh right. Is there a way to do that? Oh. Maybe. This is like your your default smile. Yeah. Uh, smile. So let's smile put your... that on. Let's see. I want to put surprise on probably a point so you can point and be like, <gasps> you know. Dippy, dippy, dooby, crate, do, dooby, right. The Dwayne the Rock Johnson rock yep. gesture. Yep. <laughs> Oh, that's great. So this is sort of your surprise look. Uh, what do you think? Point for that? Uh, yeah. Okay. 
Oh. The only other Surprise. would be, I don't know if there's a gesture for more like the, a fully open hand, kind of like a... There is? Like hands up kind of gesture, I don't know. I mean, you could technically do that, but then anytime you're not doing one of the other gestures, you're gonna look surprised. I, maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's not right then. Just let's go. I, you know what? No, it's it, no, because it's gonna fall under relax. So yeah, open we could set to surprise. So that when you do like when you actually splay out your hands entirely, are you using an index? No, I use quest two. Right, right. So if there is a hand gesture to fully like open your uh so yeah, your let's hands. not do that right now okay because i don't know that and i don't want to continually <laughs> look surprised yeah i mean we could always like test upload it and see if it if it works when you're in there um but we yeah. won't worry about it right now we can do that like yeah. some other time oh absolutely all right so face big smile for thumbs up i haven't got one for gun yet so let's do see here uh, that's frown i kind of like having like one hand be one one thumbs up be happy and one thumbs up be sad so you can do like thumbs up and thumbs down sure uh dippy they're using a uh solace is using a quest two quest two with the controllers yeah so we'll make right hand are you right-handed or left-handed right okay so right hand happy thumbs up right. will be your big smile and then left yeah. hand thumbs up will be your frown for like your thumbs down effect open hand will be fine okay so there is a specific like gesture to open the hand entirely then i think so yeah cool so then we will make that surprised all right just do it and then we'll, we'll get in there and if i always look surprised then we'll yell a dippy yep <laughs> that's how it works what does pouty look like oh it's oh it's very... just kind of the, the poofy cheeks <laughs> <laughs> it's cute but also dumb it is. I don't ever really pout. You'll see that face if my face is always surprised, Dippy. <laughs> <laughs> and any of these we don't use on this layer, we'll just um. The quest queue can. The quest two controllers can detect if you are touching the buttons and analog stick. I can't remember what it's called. Open hand is to not touch controls. Oh, okay. So it has capacitive sensors, just like the index. Yes. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. I was gonna say I've done it before, but I also was like, I, I to be honest, like VR chess has just been not not my thing for a while now. To where I was like, I can't a hundred percent remember. I didn't want to do that and then be like, eh. So this is like your normal smile. Then you've got your big smile. Yeah, let's what, see. That's so what I used to look like when I wanted to punch you in VR chat. <laughs> Do you want your big smile to be on your thumbs up, or do you want the regular smile to be on thumbs up? Uh, uh big smile. Big smile. Okay, so I'm gonna put your regular smile on on right hand piece. Yeah, that sounds good. There we go. I can do the piece with just like a nice little smile. Yeah. Great, great for photos. Let's see. So I think. Oh right, I need to replace the right hand point or uh, surprised because we have surprised on your open hand now. Yes. Uh, so there's pouty. I'm looking, I'm looking for ones we haven't used yet. I think pouty and frown are the only ones we haven't used yet. Uh, okay. Probably just keep them dead. dead no, we put, the little we put frown on the thumbs down. The oh, left hand. We? Yeah. Wait, what the hell's thumbs down? Well, it's the thumbs up on your left hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, thumbs down. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> um, so we get, we get, um, if you don't want your point to be pouty, we can just not put an animation there. And then put, put pouty on something on the left hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So I think, um, I think just, we can just, well, you know what? It's probably safest. Since we have a face neutral animation, we'll just put that. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. We'll just put neutral into any of the animations we don't modify. Uh, oh, we still haven't put anything on gun. On gun. Did we want to put anything on gun? Uh, it's a shame there's not like a like a, a flirty wink, so you can just like hey. 
Yeah, I mean, <laughs> with what we've already got set up, I think we're fine. Okay. All right, so we'll put neutral on gun as well. Um. So left expressions open. Neutral. We will also make surprised. Uh, we already we need to do. We already did the left hand fist to do uh, right your tongue. If it has right, visums yeah. for individual eye closing, you could make a wink. This is true. We could make it. You know what? Actually, that right. could work. Your left oh, hand no. being a fist and your right hand being a gun, you could do a flirty wink. Oh. So, hey, uh, bonus tutorial, how to make a fresh <laughs> animation. Let's do it. All right. So we're going to take we're the here. animation controller here. We're going to bring this down here. Uh, we are going to grab this gonna create an animation clip now i'm just gonna i'm just gonna dump this into my assets folder don't do this i am a, a disorganized mess wink don't do this so this has and generated a new controller that we're just gonna not use when we actually get into it yeah. uh but we're gonna add a property uh under body skin mesh renderer blend shape let's see what do you think for a right hand like finger gun you want to wink the right hand or you want to wink the left the uh, wink the right eye or wink the left well, eye i i'm, I'm right-handed so i typically I, th I think that goes across the board when you do more things right-handed you do more right-sided things so i usually wink with my right eye okay so we'll do a blend we'll do a right blink i yeah blink right there we go all right so by the way fun fact if you hold shift when you press this little plus symbol it won't close this menu and you don't have to scroll through everything twice Thank God. Oh. And I think we're going to put a little bit of the smile in there, too. A little bit of the smile with a little bit of blep with um, I'm holding the left trigger. Yeah. And then, and then I do the finger again. Oh, yeah, Dippy. Right, it's so useful. Gonna... Yeah. <laughs> Dippy. Yeah. It's uh, it's really useful. If Look. you hold down the shift when you press the plus button, it won't close that menu and you won't have to scroll through all the parameters again. Yeah, it's great your tutorials doing its job already i know i'm actually teaching things look at that oh All my right. god duff was a teacher confirmed oh god so and oh. uh, don't worry about that so that's <laughs> so we copy and then we paste there we go so yeah don't worry about that this is just the the preview effect of the um Actually, why is oh, it? Oh, the animation preview thing. Why is it not showing, it... though? It should show. Show what? Uh, I oh. thought it would show. Hello? That. Weird. Maybe it... Well, you know what? If we click wink here and look at it. Yeah, it's not. What the what? They're not doing it's not um not winking yeah it's not showing the wink animation i didn't know i've been working with this stuff for i don't know how long wow like i remember once using unity 563p3 for vr chat oof why is it not winking i don't know that's really strange because it should be showing well yeah yeah, sorry, I scrolled in the wrong spot. Do the blend shapes work if you just manually set them? Let's find out. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna snatch the hair here just so I can press F and zoom in. Angle my camera at the right spot. There we go. Uh so if we Poke grab this game. blend shapes. Uh right blink up. right. Yeah, it's there. And then I set what? Smile to 50%. So now we can actually see if the blep is going to uh, play nice, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually, so that's what it's going to look like if you do uh, right hand finger gun, left hand fist. That's really weird that it's not showing. Then I though. can quickly turn to blush afterward and be all. Ooh, woo. <laughs> Why is that not showing?
the right things. Oh, I used it... the wrong. I used the wrong blink. That's what it was. I used uh, VRC blink right instead of just blink right. So that's the issue. That's the issue. So body, skin mask render. So I just used the wrong blend shape. So I need to use the blink right here. Set that to 100. There we go. There it is. Now we got it. Yeah. So that's what we want. So it was the wrong blend shape, guys. That's all it was. Uh, why that blend shape is there and doesn't do anything, I don't know. VR chat's fucking weird. But there we go. So we've now created that's a proper wink animation. And now we can go into the animator, find right hand gun, and add wink. I should, probably, I should probably name that face wink just so it's consistent. Yeah. By the way, for those who don't know, one of my favorite hotkeys of all time. This works in Windows Explorer, it works in Unity, and it works in Blender. F2 to rename. Oh, oh yes. That. Uh, yes, I do know about the record button, Dippy. I just am usually too lazy to use it. I'm already, I'm already like, you know, five layers deep into that asset selector or that uh, parameter selector that I just forget to record. Just do it that way. <laughs> so Curry has a question and I'm almost certain they don't have this implemented right now. And I don't know if they're going to because of how everything's set up there. I don't think th there is no sort there, uh sorry. There's no certain amount of play time needed to upload stuff like VR chat. Correct? No, no. The moment you make your account, you can upload. So the account yep. works uh, two ways. Uh, if you have a free account, you get up to 10 uploads. That's avatars, worlds, etc. Props stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. there's no there social no credit system. Yes, no correct, Dippy. So, Love it. Um, yeah, with that, as soon as you create your account, you can upload. So there's no waiting, you know, 12 hours of gameplay or or like you know guy. making enough friends spending enough time in so in a, you know worlds it's you just you just get to upload right away um I'm gonna bite, I'm gonna bite the reason cat. the reason cvr um the reason cvr is okay with that is because they are much more strict on what's allowed to be uploaded um by which i mean they have protections in place to prevent common crasher uh right. assets from functioning not, i was gonna say it's not strict in the sense how, how to explain it it's, it's it's when it's uploaded there's more checks right correct basically uh, yeah i don't uh, want to get too into it because uh yeah. uh It'll be here forever i remember i think it was something the park bench said was that the best security system is one you don't talk about so uh... that so that people can't learn things that might help them get around it got you got yeah. you um, yeah. I, i'd be happy to tell you offline but this is going up on youtube and i don't necessarily want to uh to talk about that in, in quite such a, a public forum. But they've got some cool shit behind the scenes. I'll just say that. <laughs> so, uh, right hand point is face wink. No, that's, no, that was point. We wanted face wink to be on gun. We got that, okay. So, blah, blah. face surprised, blend tree for blep, thumbs up is frown, hand left, gun i think we're just gonna leave that one as neutral as well on the on the left That's hand fine. unless you want unless you want a left-handed wink no i'm good okay so we'll just leave that as face neutral uh and then same thing for all right i'm gonna put um the regular happy on left hand piece as well yeah yeah that's fine uh face smile that's what it was ah Rock and roll, I guess we'll also make rock, uh, face rock, face smile, the point. I think we'll, I think we'll just leave point neutral as well. Face neutral. There we go. What's up, Jay? How you doing? What's going on? Welcome to my first ever YouTube tutorial or YouTube stream. Yeah. See, <laughs> see what I mean about like my mouth moving faster than my brain and I just say the wrong things all the time. The monster. Um, no, this is just, that's just my ADHD. Like, I, monster will. I mean, monster's making that. it worse, probably, but I mean. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So I know exactly how you feel, because <laughs> I am really good at my mouth moving quicker than my brain. 
Um, so let me ask that, Dippy. If if you're if you have the same if you have the same emote on both hands, just I, this is a silly question, but it's not going to try and like double up the animation so that like smile becomes double smile. <laughs> that's not the monster. That's just Duff being Duff. See, Jay used to live with me. Jay is an ex roommate. Uh... I am. He can attest. I am incredibly scatterbrained. I am incredibly prone to mincing my words and saying the wrong things and having to quickly correct myself. It's a problem. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, that's that's just my brain. It fucky. But uh, I think that's the expressions done then. I think we are about set. I'm gonna double check this blend tree. Yep, face neutral, face tongue, face neutral. And then if we go to this one, check this blend tree, face neutral, angry, face neutral. There we go. So we are about all set, I think. We have created our facial expression layers uh, separate from our hand gesture layers so that we're not just duplicating assets into another animation, which I didn't even know was a thing for the longest time. Like, Dippy. Oh, man. I should show you. Uh, I still have the recording from when I actually, like, did the, the script for the, for the part two tutorial. I should, <laughs> I should send that <laughs> audio to you and let you hear what my original script was. I had to rewrite the whole section when I learned you could <laughs> copy and paste animation data from one clip to another. It was so bad before. Hello, quit. I'm assuming that's Funky. Yeah, oh yeah, no, I recognize that icon. That's Funky. Hi, Funky. How you doing? Um, But yeah, I think that's it, Solus. I think we're ready to are upload. We, are we? Is it? Is it happening? It is about time to happen. So, oh my lord. This is the part where we open up the CCK control panel. Um, so Alpha Blend Interactive, and you're going to open up the control panel, builder, and settings. So, oop, so it automatically logged into me because it remembers your login info across projects, which is actually very useful, uh, if you're just uploading your own avatars. Uh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't know you could copy paste animations to merge them together like that. Very handy when converting VRC avatars that have animations split between gesture and effects layers. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I was kind of going for when I wrote up my avatar tutorial. Um, but... If you know your way around the animator, like I just kind of showed you guys, you can just copy and paste the original hand gesture animation controller layers into expression layers. Um, yeah, the more you know, exactly. So uh, this CCK automatically logged me in because it stores your login credentials locally so that you don't have to log in every time you create a new project. This is very useful if you're only uploading your own avatars However, since I'm uploading this to Solus's account, I'm going to need his login credentials. And the best part of all this is what we are about to do does not break the terms of service. So I'm going to log out and I'm going to need Solus's username and his access key. Now, here's the cool thing. Over in VRChat, if I was doing this on VRChat, I would have to log in with Solus's official account username and official account password. That is a big no, no. Do not share usernames and passwords, people. That is very risky. Unless you, unless you like, absolute. Well, I mean, you shouldn't do it anyway. You shouldn't do it anyway because it's against terms of service. But if you absolutely have to because someone else that you trust is uploading your avatar for you, uh, first off, make sure you have two-factor authentication enabled and create a temporary password. Just because, like, just absolutely, just because you never know how your data might get leaked or if it gets shared to the wrong person. Very true. Very so, true. The cool thing is we don't got to worry about none of that here because we have what's called the content creation master key. And uh, that is that, yeah, the, the, the kit master key is the one I got to copy, right? Correct. Uh, not the game one. It's the content creation yeah, yeah, yeah. key. Right, so good. here's the cool thing. And I'm going to actually pull this up on my account as well, just so you guys can see it. Uh, so we're oh. going to go to I'm still on the gamer subs website here. <laughs> um, so we're going to go to hub.abinteractive.net gonna do the cloud that's player what check. You need in discord what's that i believe that's what you need in discord uh or i will check... say you did oh, right. need that you did need that yes i will need that from you yeah so uh come on there we go yeah oh, i'm logged in anyway 404 but i'm logged in anyway whatever <laughs> so uh i'm just gonna show you guys where this is in case you haven't seen my first tutorial uh once you log in 
you just click access key manager here just under your profile picture and this will bring you down to your abi game access key and your content creation kit key this second key here is what you need and all you have to do is press copy and then you can paste it to the person who's uploading your avatar you'll notice that there's also did. you'll notice there's also a regenerate button this allows you to generate a new access key and revoke the previous one which so, is what i'll do after you upload exactly so what that allows you to do is you can control who has access to upload content and i say that specifically upload content with this key you cannot modify or delete any existing content on your account you can only yep. upload more content so that is really cool because you can allow someone like an avatar texture artist like myself to have access to upload an avatar to your account for you without needing to have access to your entire account and it's such a clever idea why someone at vrchat didn't think of that years ago i will never know but we have it in chill out it's the best thing ever eventually this is later on down the roadmap but eventually we won't even need this because eventually we are going to have transfer of accounts from or trans sorry no no not transfer of accounts again mincing words transfer of content from account to account Technically, they could still overwrite your other avatars with your keys, so don't give it out willy-nilly. I mean, that's only so that's only if they have access to the original blueprint ID, Sean. Um, which unless you are giving someone the entire Unity project that has the key, the, the blueprint ID already attached, um, shouldn't be a problem. But um so eventually we won't even need to pass around keys like this because if you have an unlocked account you will be able to transfer ownership of an avatar from one person to another so i as an avatar content creator i will or i will be able to upload an avatar to my account i can go into chill out vr and test it out i can you know show it off to the owner even give them a third person view of their avatar and let them see all the features and how they look and then once they are like yes i love this this is perfect i i i am satisfied with my service i can head to the website here, click yes. transfer ownership of avatar, choose that person and hit enter. And the avatar will be removed from my account and dropped into theirs without yep. needing any of their login info, without needing their master key, without needing anything. It's so cool. Way better than VR chat. Way better, be better, way Not better. better. We Not be right, in VR. But it's on the roadmap. It is on the roadmap. It is a feature. Like honestly, I can go to let's see here. Uh my content, my avatars. And so let's see. Uh so actually Connie the Bunny is someone that I that I made an avatar for. Now I was able to share this avatar with Connie. Uh, but because transfer ownership is not enabled yet, see I don't have access to the closed testing. So I, um, How would we commission you, Duff, if you wanted an avatar from you? Well, uh, you can check out my card, uh, which is duffwoof.card.co. Uh, has some examples of my work. However, honestly, eventually I want to get to the point where I don't have to do commissions for other people. Um, there are other people who are way better artists than I am that will probably do it for less money web request error when trying to authenticate. is it because there was the space at the end is it because i selected it all and got the space at the end that's probably what it was let's try that again that was it yeah there was a space at the end of the co of the key and that that fucked yeah, it up so make sure you know what you're copying if you're getting your key from someone else over discord or telegram make sure you have just the key and not any spaces at the start or end. But it will fuck it up. Uh, so we have here the CCK control panel. And I'm what actually that... really excited to see this. Oh, yeah, no. So this is really easy. So you have your settings here. Preferred upload region, United States, CCK language, English. So that's all mm -hmm. you have for your options, which obviously means you don't have access to because in VR chat, you can manage all of your uploaded content within the VR chat uh, 
SDK. Yes, so what did I yawn? Jeez. I don't know. Don't don't do that. You can. Oh god! Oh god! Damn it! <laughs> no, I'm yawning. I just had a monster. I shouldn't be I yawning. I just had energy. All right. Too. Uh, what was that link? I'm gonna drop it in chat for you, Brooklyn. Here, uh, duffwoof card co. There you go. Play, play, play. Uh, you can also have my beacons page, which I updated just today. There we go. So that is my other page. That is my uh my beacons, my beacon.ai page, uh, which basically just has links to my Twitch, Twitter, Telegram, Discord, all that other stuff. Um, hey. yeah, but. Anyway, I love that like strawberry banana look to it too. <laughs> yeah, it does look good. It's pretty. All right, so All right. now we are ready to upload an avatar. Nice. So, uh, everything is all set up here. We've set up. It looks good. We set up expressions. We set up our toggles. Slider, yep. Toggle, we set up our yep. sliders. We set up our facial expressions so that they're on their own layers. Which and actually, before need... we get into this, I want to show you guys. There actually is a way to test this um in real time so if we get rid of the male canine animator here and we grab i need to unlock this there we go so if we grab this i believe it's this one yes so it's this one so uh if we go here and this is the generated and advanced animation uh advanced avatar settings Okay. thing yeah so um <laughs> energy drinks make my adhd unbearable mood uh so well, that's why you're not a bear <laughs> <laughs> so uh if we take this animation overrider and we drag it into the controller slot of the animator in the inspector for the prefab that is the avatar what that will do is when we then hit the play button it will have Solus here animating as if he was in Chill Out VR. So you'll see he's kind of got the idle animation. There's a little bit of arm movement going on. Uh, but if we take the animator here, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually move this over so we can see it side by side. If we go to the parameters tab, we actually have all the all the parameters and controls that affect his avatar. So we right. can go to movement X and set that to one. And so he is he is sort of strafing to the right here. We set it to negative one, strafing to the left. We go movement Man, Y, press one. He's running forward. This is full tilt. We set it to 0 0.5. That's a nice stroll. So that's when that's when you're just like pressing forward. And then if you're in desktop mode, uh, if you press shift and forward, that's when you're running. And that's when you go to that's when you go to one. Uh, so we have grounded, which is whether he is fly, uh, flying, falling or anything like that. Uh, so mm -hmm. you can see his landing animation there. Uh, we do have the flying animation, so there is there is basically a no clip mode built into Chill Out VR vanilla. You don't need to use mods for that. And it's great. And then obviously when you undo it, uh, it does the landing animation. So tail size is currently at zero. Let's set it to one. Big tail. Twelve. Uh, if we set it to two, it doesn't do anything obviously because it's a it's a float, so it's zero to one. So we set it to zero point. 75 so there's like 75 percent of the tail animation uh same thing with curl now he got the husky curl uh how do you enable the thing where the animator shows what state is active not sure how i disabled that but mine's not doing it um i don't know I, that is a good question i actually am unsure because i've never played with that so we'll set that to one for a nice big tail. And then we have the blush toggle. Now for the time being, this is gonna be in a um, in a quick menu, like sub menu. I'll show you where it's at when we get it in Solus. Um, yeah. So it's not gonna be like immediately available on on like any expressions. So you are gonna have to like manually toggle you it on. Toggle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so there are your, uh, there are your things. But we can actually show off your uh oh those are emotes i'm sorry uh yeah. cancel cancel emote there we go uh gesture left here we go so we can actually run through your gestures here so yeah there's your blep there's your thumbs down frown 
Uh, I think we left left Neutral. gun default. Yep. Uh, same with point. Peace has that little smile on it. A little bit of smile. Cute little smile. There's your there's your Dwayne the Rock Johnson eyebrow. And then if we go down to just your right, you'll see it on the right hand. So we have your Angie fist. You have your thumbs up. Your happy, your big happy smile and thumbs up. Wink on the gun. Four is neutral. Five is your uh, peace with the with the gentle the smile. smile. Yep. And then the rock. The rock. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. That is that is all of your controls set up. So we are set. We are good to go. All we have to do is undo the play button, and then when we click on your avatar, we want to remove this controller again. That way it behaves. Is that Ash? What are you doing, cats? <laughs> no, Whitney's laying right down to my right, and Ash is coming up and sniffing her, and that's annoying Whitney, so she's growling at her. <laughs> cats, man. Whitney's now being annoyed. So I'm actually surprised. Uh, this is just like a general note about your character design. I'm surprised your right claws aren't white. Just, just for a little more contrast. Uh. Then no, again, I don't know. True. I don't know if the UVs on this avatar allow that, or if they share the same space for both. No, I, I see. I thought I thought that was the issue with the eye color. I thought it was shared. No, the well. eyes are actually two different spaces on the same map. Okay. So it was so, just yeah, a matter of setting them up right. I guess if you could find the claws, you'd be able to find that. But I have no clue. Yeah, we'll, we'll worry about that another time. If yeah, I try yeah. to open Substance Painter right now, uh, I'm going to have a bad yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> Duff Wolf's computer will start chugging. Oh, <laughs> God, you have no idea. <laughs> Honestly, it's a miracle I haven't had any issues so far. Uh, I'm hoping it stays that way when we actually get into chill out here in a minute. But uh, I think we are actually set to upload now. Let's do it. So we're going to go to the control panel. And uh, you want to remove controller? I thought you need to put in the controller. So putting in the controller while you are in unity is just for uh showing off the animations running within the editor uh when you actually go to upload you do not want anything in the controller here um just for the simple sake of of not accidentally making things like cross feed into each other incorrectly i i know it probably didn't make any sense to anyone who actually knows what i'm what i'm talking about because I sure don't, but um, generally you want to keep this empty anyway, because the biggest reason is uh, when you are going to upload your avatar uh, and you use the camera to set your preview picture, uh, if you have a controller in there and you're in play mode, uh, you are going to be stuck in this pose permanently. He's a <laughs> wink. Yeah. That's because the only clip we have on this controller is the wink. This is the this is the controller we made to generate the wink animation. Right. Uh, there is the one. There is this one Unity bug where you get stuck in the first frame of the controller when reopening the project. It's so annoying. Yeah. So generally, you want to have no animation controller. And this is gonna look fucky here because I'm in play mode. So we're just gonna turn that off and then remove it. So you want to have right. no animation controller. Uh. Partially, one reason I like not having it there is because uh, because of that like floating through the floor animation there. Um, if that is happening, you won't be able to pose the avatar for a photo, which is something I like to do. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. So we're going to hit upload avatar. And since uh, since this is the only avatar that we have set up in the project, uh, you don't have to like select what you want to do. Uh, but coming in here, so it's gonna it's gonna do all its mesh optimization. Poyomi's gonna do its thing. It's gonna lock down its materials and all that. And uh, once that is done, we will be set to go through the ABI upload menu system. Interesting. Yeah. So up next, um, it's going to be, I think, I think the first page is just uh, your details, like the name of the avatar, the description, things like that. We'll, we'll, we'll see it when we get there. This is why you lock down your materials before you press upload, kids. 
All right. Here we go. So here it is. Upload content to Chill Out VR. So our first oh, this page. this is awesome. Yes. So this is the first page of the upload system. Your tags. So this is, so you know avatars that load in and they immediately have this like bass boosted 30 second rap song that plays every time the person loads the avatar? It's like, it's like how they think they're announcing themselves to the instance that they're there. Yeah, you have to tag that here. So if you make an avatar that has loud audio or audio that plays on spawn, you have to tag those. Long range audio. If your audio fall off for your music that plays when you open is 50 kilometers <laughs> and every one of the instance can hear it, you have to tag that. If it contains music, you have to tag that. So that's especially useful for content creators. If um, if you're playing music that is not DMCA safe, you could get in big trouble. So you need to tag that. <laughs> Some loser has entered the lobby. Ah, yes, thank you. Very cool. Thank you for announcing your entry. <laughs> oh, I have arrived. The fun has arrived. How is that? <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Music, you have to tag that. So if let's say I'm streaming and someone comes in with a with a avatar that plays copyright music, if it's tagged properly, I can disable that from playing and I don't have to worry about getting a copyright strike on my damn Twitch channel. Yes, because there's toggles within Chill Out VR yes. that relate to these. And we will get to that. Yes, Visual that experience. Sure. Flashing colors, flashing lights, extremely bright, particle systems, screen effects. So those things that like shake your screen when uh, when it you know does something, you have to tag for this. So I used to have I my assume... boob sound as the spawn audio. Boop. Yeah. So I assume, mm -hmm. if I'm correct, that there's penalties for not tagging your uploads correctly. Yes, depending on severity, uh, it can be anything from like a slap on the wrist. Hey, don't do that all the way up to an immediate ban, depending on the. Uh, oh. So Chat, like what this sorry. So down here at the bottom, we have the age gate classification. So chill out VR is adult content positive. So they are accepting of adult content as long as it is properly tagged. So um, there is a system to access adult content in the game, and it involves downloading a free DLC from Steam that you can only access if your you are verified. over 18 and your account is verified. Age verified Steam account. Correct. So it's not like, so it's not like I verify that I am 18 plus and you check a box. No, you have to have, I think you have to have like a credit card on file or something. I forget, but yeah, it's a but little you, bit more protection than chill out, like trying to do something on their own. Than VR chat? Oh no, than chill or out like, doing something on their own. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, or VR chat. Exactly. And I think half the reason they do that is because um, the developers are based out of Germany, and Germany has very strict laws on managing access to adult content. My stream okay? I, it, it blipped on my screen for a second. I'm still here. I'm good. It exploded. Um, but yeah, so so Germany is very strict about adult content access um, and preventing those who shouldn't see it from seeing it, which is a good thing in our case because it means that we have this advanced system um, to make sure that nobody untoward has access to yeah. things they shouldn't. Um, and I think that's a really smart way of handling it. Um, see, that's the cool thing about this is this is this is explicitly uh, uh, one of the reasons why Crash Avatar, Tars trolling avatars are going to be a, nowhere near as welcome on uh, Chill Out as yes. it is in VR chat. So there, there, there is should be a report system for someone who has not tagged their their avatars correctly or their props for that matter, um, and. I think, uh, yeah, so Sean said they can remove your upload permissions temporarily or permanently if you miss tag. So obviously it's gonna be, it's gonna, for the time being, it's gonna be on a case by case basis uh, while the community is small enough to, to moderate it by hand. Yep. Um, but if things get big enough and if things get bad enough, don't be surprised if miss tagging results in immediate, like, lockout of uploading or even like removal of content from your account and or account deletion like it, it is it is possible 
it is it is not outside the realm of possibility if you were to do Absolutely. that. So tag your shit, please. Tag please him, tag, tag your right. shit. So continuing down the list here, obviously flashing colors and flashing lights, that's like for people who have epilepsy sensitivity. So yep. you don't want to play with that. You don't want someone to have a seizure in the middle of just, you know, trying to have a good... Chilling. Yeah, trying to have a good time. Content, violence, horror, gore, jump scare, things like that. That yep, is also so... needs to be tagged. Yep. Which that's, that's, you know, some of those may not seem quite Avatar related, but remember this is for world, right, as well? I believe so. I believe these are the same tags for worlds as well. Um, but oh. anything, anything, anything that is a gun must be tagged violence. Yes. Even so if like it that doesn't is, even animate. Even, even if gun. it's like someone has already uploaded every weapon from TF2, like every, every base weapon, at least. <laughs> And some of the uh, extra weapons. Right. Um, so someone has already uploaded most, if not all, of the TF2 weapons to Chill Out VR, complete with working sounds, particles, and pushback. Uh, oh. So there is actually a physics push system in Chill Out VR, and you can have particles uh, push people if, assuming they have their their uh, permission set for that. Oh, so like the bullet <laughs> would hit them, and they would actually get knocked back. Yes. Yes. That is the thing. Um, but even if it's a cartoony gun, I know one of them is the, um, one of the props is, it uses the model of one of the Pyro's flare guns. I forget which one. It's the one with all the stripes on it. Um, but it uses the model of the Pyro's gun. It fires a, fi it shoots a firework. And there's, here's the funny part, right? Um, I don't have access to this prop in game, so I don't mind telling you now. Uh, when you pull the trigger to fire, it plays the first syllable of All Star, Psalm. And then there's like a moment of pause, and then when the actual firework goes off, oh, it, it plays like, Body Once body. Told. Yeah, and it's <laughs> and the firework is in the shape of Shrek's head. It's amazing. That's amazing. But because it uses a gun, it is required to be tagged violence. Uh, that is because violence is actually one of the tags that is restricted under the 18 plus uh, DLC. So um, you do not have access to guns if you are under 18 within Shell VR, and that is that is a hard cap. Is that one of Mutson's props? I dude, <laughs> oh, it's great. I love it. There's so like it's a very small but very tight knit and super creative and funny community on Shell VR. Oh, uh, prop publication hype. Yes, I can't wait for it. So we can already search for uh, avatars and worlds, I believe. Or is that coming later? Mm. I know you can search worlds. I know you can search yeah. worlds. Might be able to search public avatars now. Not certain. Um, but public props are coming. And it's going to be so much fun. Avatars, worlds, and users. Yes. So you can search for those right now. Props are coming. When the group system gets implemented, that'll be a thing. Uh, we'll see when it gets there. for the but, groups. Oh, dude, me too. Me too. There's so much so you can do with groups. Patreon. Oh yeah, no, we'll we'll talk about that later. I really hope. Yeah. I really hope eventually that the the group system can be tied into something like a Discord or Twitch subscribers or patrons subscribers on a Patreon, that kind oh, of thing. Twitch subscriber, you have access to my groups, which only have access to this world. Exactly. Exactly. Which is stuff we we've talked about off streams. So, yeah, or yeah. No, we'll we talk about, about it last last week. Yeah, last we'll week. we'll also talk about it more when we are in mm -hmm. world here in a bullet. Let's but let's but let's continue yeah. the, the upload process. So we've gone over each of the tags here. Currently, despite Solus being quote unquote nude, because there is nothing suggestive or explicit yeah, yeah. about his avatar, we don't really need to. Tag. I I don't know, Dippy. Um. You probably have more experience with this than me. Than me, the fact that he is nude but Ken doll and no suggestive clothing, we can still label him as an all ages avatar and not select the suggestive tag. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, my avatar is nude but it has no genitals, so it's fine. He's not nude, he's nude. nude. He's Disney yeah. nude, exactly. He's Zuto, he's Zootopia nudist club nude, exactly. So totally fine. So we're, so none of these tags apply. 
you know there's no oh excessively small and excessively huge those are also things if you happen to make a really small or really large avatar technically you don't really need any of that uh or you don't need well i i say you don't need to like make the avatar small or huge because it's actually fairly easy to just make the avatar scalable yep a slider um no not not a slider you don't want to make a slider oh. right now uh because uh -huh. the way the app the menu is set up when you move the menu stays behind oh god so well i mean i've, I've had vr chat have problems with that right so um but if you were to like adjust a scale slider in the menu your menu is going to get left behind and you're going to shoot up and you're not going to be able to control it very well right 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 or it, vice versa you're in the floor and you can't reach your table. exactly menu. exactly it's just is not the best way to set it up there are other ways you could you could feasibly use a drop down selector if you want to just have preset sizes so if you wanted to have like a two feet tall six feet tall 10 feet tall 50 feet tall if you wanted to just have presets you could set individual presets um okay. what is the world cap for how many people could join a world in cvr i'm just thinking of how like pizza friday worked theoretically 100 per instance yes um you can have a lot of people the chill out vr is way more um what's the word uh performant than vr chat because it's not built on eight years of spaghetti code so uh you can actually get a lot more people with a lot more complex avatars into one instance on chill out vr without issue uh i have a scale on one of my avatars but it's not easy to control so quipper telling you um, chat hmm? i was the same telling you chat chill out's gonna be better <laughs> so quipper um I, I think i think you know park bench he's got a system where he can poke his hand with one with the other to scale one way and then reverse poke the other way to scale the other direction so we can poke That's his interesting so we'll get into that in a little bit here um <laughs> so actually you know what we should do that you know what i'm getting sidetracked so we're gonna go into territory that i haven't touched on my tutorials yet uh you guys should be excited for this because this is this for for my channel at least this is exclusive content so oh yeah this is gonna be cool so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add some triggers to your avatar oh so uh what that means is we're gonna go up your hierarchy here let's see shoulder we'll do right arm first since it's close to the camera right now so we're gonna go to the end of your index finger here and we're gonna add an empty so we have an empty game object here we're gonna oop, and we're gonna call it pointer left so this is so this is an empty that is going to add a pointer script to it and if we turn gizmos back on you'll see that's a little blue dot yes so what this is is this is a script that we can use to interact with objects on other people's avatars on people's props and in the world oh we do need that yes so i'm gonna actually just copy this object and then we're gonna do the same thing with the left arm and we just paste and then oh you know what maybe not <laughs> so we'll create an empty and then add the pointer and ooh, what that does is the same thing so it just adds a little collider orb and there is a similar uh script for a basically a pointer receiver and we don't really need to, unless you wanted to unless you want me to add one maybe we add one to your nose that makes it so when people poke you in the nose you blep yeah all right we're going into uncharted territory now guys i haven't done this part yet let's figure it out so we go to neck head and then we're gonna add an empty and this empty we're gonna call nose receiver and we are gonna move that to the tip of your nose and inside this component we're gonna add let's see here i can't see what this is uh nope advanced avatar settings pointer no uh what is the um 
Dippy, what what is the script called for like a for a, a is it just called the covers? Let's see here. CVR uh trigger, that's what it's called. Oh. Uh advanced avatar settings trigger. Hmm. Name CVR avatar trigger. Okay. That's the helper. We don't need that one. So it is this one. Okay. So we can uh, use the empty here to uh, move it where we want it so that when someone puts their pointer into your nose, uh, it will make you blow. Yeah. That's so here's the cool thing, right? And here's, here's where things get extra interesting. You can set allowed pointers. So if, if we go back to your hand mm -hmm. and check out your index finger pointer, there is a slot here for type. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so type allows you to put a string, a code into it, right? That is an identifier that a receiver, a trigger can look for basically. Okay. So when, so let's say you have, um, let's say you only, let's, uh, I don't know if you are single or have a significant other currently. I'm single. Okay. So let's, let's, uh, let's pretend for a moment that you have a significant other. Okay. Um, all, 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 all comments and jokes aside, right? And there's, yeah, there's, yeah. 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 So let's pretend for a moment that you have a significant other. And you want to make it so that only they can boop your nose. What oh. you would do is in their avatar, you would set a script or you would set a type for the pointer script. And that would be your unique identifier. It could be anything from like a four digit code to a 64 bit, you know, uh, string of like a unique identifier, uh, almost an encryption key. Right. Right. Uh, so you set that code into his pointer and then in your receiver you would set allowed pointers to one oh no i'm sorry <laughs> perfect perfect type i think it goes in here yeah so then you just allowed types right i anyone in chat feel free to correct me if i'm getting this wrong but i think this is how you do it so uh allowed types you would set it to uh size one or two if you have different codes on each finger and the then it would be the the string you put in their avatar correct so so let's say so everyone in chat is is uh is saying huh, 69 so yep. let's say you put code 69 into your significant others pointer scripts on their fingertips right no once you do that you can uh set your allowed types to in this case one and you would put 69 now you would want something a little more complex than that because if someone figures out it's just 69 they could do the same thing well, that's why you said you could encrypt it essentially if you needed to yeah if you wanted so to have a truly unique identifier it. that no one would ever be able to guess uh you can make it like i i've seen i've found a website that will literally just generate a 256 character string of an encryption key basically for you and then you just slap that in and no one will ever guess it i actually have an idea uh i am slowly developing a world for myself that is basically my fursona's apartment um yes part of me wants to have some kind of a of a hidden panel that requires my avatar with my specific hand size to use five different pointers with all unique codes and I can put my hand to that sensor that hand scanner sensor and it will quote unquote scan my hand and verify my identity by looking for those five pointers like a biometric scan just... <laughs> exactly but digital so and it's it... set to just my avatar 
And that's when you know the sex swing uh, drops down and <laughs> no. <laughs> if anything, it would be access to like a secret cozier cuddle room or something. But yeah, you can do that. Dungeon, <coughs> dungeon. <coughs> oh, shut up. Uh, but anyway, okay. So here we go. Uh, on enter trigger, on exit trigger, on stay trigger. So these are your three uh, events that can happen basically when you have a pointer interact with a trigger. So there's the moment the pointer enters the trigger space, the moment mm -hmm. the pointer leaves the trigger space, and uh, the pointer staying within the trigger space. Interesting. Um, oh yeah, Tex, I, I'm still working on it slowly. Uh, <laughs> that uh, actually would work. The prop would just have to have the identifier, and then whatever the thing would have. I saw somebody selling a prefab of a key card. With a similar idea is that yeah, Sean. It's it's not at least for chill VR. It's not difficult to set up. Secret protein powder storage. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. It's it's my it's my uh, emergency <laughs> stock of Swole Patrol brand protein powder. <laughs> oh man. Know your gamer stuff as well down there. Right. Okay, so on enter trigger. Uh, why is it only showing those? I guess I need to make a... Mm, interesting. So it has to be one of the controls uh, that we added. Well, you know what? The blush is fine, but yeah. It's, so it's, yeah, not, we'll the blush. it's not a gesture-based one. It's only by t uh, the control, yeah. Yeah. Flush is fine. So It'll we'll just cool. make it if, so if you we get this. The, we, we do I this. I think it's and only showing in. floats. Interesting. Aren't um, aren't all the? I guess because we set it up as a hand gesture type thing, it might. Well, no, hand gestures are also floats, aren't they? Or did they finally change those over to integers? I didn't actually check that. Let me take a look here. Integers. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh. No, it is still, yeah, it is still floats for some reason. Um, yeah, it still floats. Apparently Park Bench was saying uh, they should have fixed that. They should have changed that ages ago to just make it an integer. I don't know why they chose floats, but uh, you know, it's not important, I guess. But anyway. Uh, Nobody likes floats in a parade. <laughs> uh, it's based on the parameters in your advanced avatar settings. Right, so we would have to make a new one but if we did that, it would override all the work we did on the hand gestures. Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, so we'll just make it blush. But that is something to remind yourself for. If you're going to do these kinds of things, you need to do it before you set all the gestures. Because if you try to go add this back, you're going to end up so overriding everything. That makes me wonder, if you wanted to make a unique code or a unique item, would you just end up with an extra toggle in your advanced avatar menu? that you just don't use. I'll have to ask Rakush about that because Rakush has done this. He literally made up a, um, he made a uh, a boop for his otter that mm -hmm. makes a little, it makes a little squeak sound, a little star pops out and his face puffs up into like a puffy cheeks look. Oh. Uh, so I'll have to ask him about that when I see him. But. That's cool. But yeah, so we added, we added our nose receiver. Now, do we need to do anything else how did you get the blue box to show up on your nose for the CBR trigger? Uh, so it's just making sure your gizmos are enabled. Um, let me see. CBR. Avatar. No? Where is it? CBR advanced avatars. Yeah, so it's one of these. Can't see it though, because it's too skinny of a menu. Um, but I guess it would be just one of these. You can change it, but the the you just want to make sure that your gizmos are enabled right up here, Quipper, and then uh make sure they're all like checked on. Oh how gizmo is like a, a technical term now because of Unity. Oh yeah. So you can hide all gizmos if you want. Which is considered just like a. Uh, you can like also change the scale for just random stuff. Ooh. So like we can make the little CVR logo really small, so it doesn't take up you know the entire avatar, like it does normally. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's kind of big. But there we go. So yeah, that is your uh, doohickey there. 
now do we need to dippy do we need to change anything else uh setting value delay hold time with the set i guess the setting value we'd set to one right on to enter, make it... i would think yes right yeah and then on stay would also want to be on one and then on exit would be zero do we need an on stay for that i actually don't know i uh, don't know we probably set an exit trigger to set blush back to zero yeah the stay is not needed okay oh okay so well because you're entering you're gonna enter it and it's gonna consistently be entering until yeah it leaves. you are you are officially inside it and then once you exit it's gonna trigger the on exit um gotcha. with the delay unless you're doing an audio particle no so exit would be with a delay which is what in seconds I guess we'll make that like what 0.25 probably yeah yes okay cool cool so that'll work then so yeah you'll 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 slowly unblush not slowly I mean it's a quarter of a second so it'll be pretty quick but you will you will unblush gradually when um actually we'll set the delay not the delay um nah sorry we're we're set we're set here so yeah now we will do the upload so now that we've set that up for you now that's something i haven't even done on my avatar yet so uh enjoy that <laughs> happy birthday Saul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you no. can blush when people poke your nose oh that's cute so anyway uh yes so no tra no no tags here no applicable tags so we're going to continue to the next step it holds the blush for 0.25 seconds after the pointer exits the trigger. Ah, okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. So technically, we could set that to something like a second or two, and he would still be blushing after you stop booping him. Right. But we've already got it set up here. Continue to the next yeah. step, please. It's thinking. <laughs> uh. Hello? You have to select one? No, you don't. No, you don't have to select one. I wonder if it's just thinking or no, nope, nope, it's live. Continue to the next step, please. Begin. What is this? What is this error? Begin layout group must be called first. What? Uh, this is this is a new development. Sometimes the button doesn't respond. Great. So there's, oh, there it goes. I just had to click it in the right spot, I guess. All right. We got it. We got it. So, object name. Solus the Wolf. Object Base by Julia Winterpaw. A lot of space there. Base by Julia Winterpaw. Uh, who did your textures? Uh, Kiss Me Karma. Uh, Karma, yeah. Kiss Me Karma with a K. Yeah. Textures by Kiss Me Karma. All right. And then, uh, are you good with this, like, default photo? So, I can actually show you guys. You can pose uh the avatar use his arms oh no <laughs> so like if we go with the upper arm uh let's set this to local so we can bring sort of his uh his can, arm up can you make him blep yes make him blep we're gonna make him blep so all we gotta do is click him here go into our blend shapes and pull out the tongue blip and then that oh, updates in real time that? Uh, can you, uh, smile. Turn the smile all the way up too, within. Let's see what that does. What's, what's that look like in there? Blip. Yeah. Happy <laughs> blip boy. Yeah. Uh, so change log. So this is something for um, if you're uploading a public prop or world, you can actually put in change log notes, and uh, let people know what's changing since the last update. What's actually like, you know updated since the last time you've updated Duff, Duff wolf changed the eye color there's <laughs> tail sizes that's now. that's more for the public that's more for the public ones unless you are absolutely anal about keeping notes on everything you've done to your own avatar <laughs> uh but it also tells you everything here so uh your asset bundle file size is nine megabytes uh oh, there's shit. no images of, there's no like just plain images attached to this uh so that's empty Manifest file size is one kilobyte. So I believe that's the list of all the things in the asset bundle. Ah. Uh, 
What was I say? One kilobytes, definitely a text document. Pano file size and 4K pano files. So I think these are for worlds. I think these are for worlds when you uh, when you put down a portal and stuff. Interesting. This is a super cool future. Hate when an avatar I use in VRC changes and I have no idea the extent of what's different, right? Like yeah, so like Julia Winterprob makes another updated version. Well, so the chill out VR one, they can then if she put well icon. if this were if she were to upload a public model for people to play with. Well, that's what I was saying. Yeah, she sorry. could she could add change logs if there was an update. Um, it can only read what's marked as read write on the file itself in project tab. It I think don't quote me. Um, I'm trying to add a blip to the bento bear. Ooh, is the, is there a is there even a blend shape for that, or are you gonna have to make your own? Because you might have to make your own in Blender. Anyway, um, or someone touches my nose, I've left. Oh, okay. So yeah, you'll want to um, you'll want to make sure you have like a control, um, in your advanced avatar settings animator. Okay, there is a blend animator. Cool. So yeah, you would you would make a control in your advanced avatar animator. Uh, controller just like you would do any other toggles or sliders or things just so that's there for you to control with the trigger later anyway so this is the last page before upload you have your legal assurance ownership and copyright this is just saying yes I own the assets I have I have legally acquired the assets that I am using and I have the right to use them uh, I have a license to use them for upload um, and I am using it correctly uh, legal assurance tagging. Uh, this is to say, yes, I have applied the proper tags to my avatar to make sure that, uh, you know, this is, this is the legally, legally binding contract that yes, I have tagged correctly. And I am, I am accepting of the consequences if I am found to have not tagged correctly. Um, Bam. and then we continue to next step, which is the upload. <laughs> and now it's uploaded and now it's being checked by the internal systems. And it's done. That's it. Your avatar is available, Solus. You're done. Uh, I was gonna say, let me let me let me go check this out on the uh, the hub. So yeah, if you go to the hub, uh, it should avatar. show your avatar there. It's there. Boom. Here, let me let me show you guys chat on my side. Uh, uh, screen share. There she is. Manage. And I could transfer avatar ownership. And da, 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 Is it a good da, idea to da, add da. pointers to all of the fingers of your avatar? Yeah. I mean, That's it's not strictly cool. necessary, Quipper. Um, unless you have like a specific reason that you're gonna want to use pointers on all your fingers. Normally, I think using the index finger because everyone uses their index finger for for any kind of pointing or pushing buttons or stuff. That's probably fine. Um, I less painful than a vrc upload by a lot yes it is yes it is um so it was uh extremely quick and easy oh it is it's so great um but as far as like as far as like uh, unless you have a specific idea in mind like what i said for the uh for like the, the security bioscan idea <laughs> unless you're doing something crazy like that you don't really need pointers in every finger um what I will say is make sure you put an empty inside the bone and put the script on that empty so that you can actually position it exactly where you want it so that it's right there on the tip of your claws instead of it just being wherever that last finger is, that last finger bone is. Because it's nested inside the bone, you can move it as needed. But does that mean we are about ready to actually get into chill out? We think we are. All right. So guys, uh, changing my stuff over on Twitch right now. All right, I am going I was on to just chatting that whole time since oh, I cool. wasn't doing a whole. Lot. I've I've been on Chill Out VR just because we're doing Chill Out VR related things. So um, I guess I'm gonna go BRB here in just a few minutes, guys. Uh, for just a few minutes, I'm gonna kind of prep my room for VR because my room is tiny and not great. <laughs> so um. Uh, I'm going to clean up a few things, get VR up and running, and then next time you see me, I should be in chill out. Uh, I'm going to keep this call up, Solus, while we are getting yep. ready. Um, so if you have any questions or if you need to let me know anything, I will still have my headphones on and listening. All right. But guys, we're going to make a tweet saying that we're moving on to chill out VR and I'm going to I'm going to have to move some programs around. But other than that, I'm going to get right in. Yeah. So, guys, we'll be right back. Be right back. 
Yeah. All right. So, uh, I'll still be here. If anyone has any questions, I am still here. I'm still looking at chat while I'm setting up. Um, I am realizing I need to turn that off. There we go. So, uh, let me raise my desk up. Shifting gears here. All right, everybody. Uh, oh. Everybody, I need to. I'm just gonna start closing some things here. Oh yeah, I need to close. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna close out uh, Unity and VC Face to save a couple cycles. Transition to this for meow. Right meow. All right, yeah, right meow. All right, chat. I am gonna walk away, use the restroom, and get my space prepped as well, and Wahoo. start getting things ready for. Setting up the quest two and the air link. It shouldn't take more than a couple minutes though. Yeah. I'm just gonna fire up my index. Very quick. I'm curious though if it'll auto switch my audio devices. Uh SteamVR should do that. 